You think that, that Vin Diesel's gonna sit there and wake up Christmas morning and be like, damn it. No Britney Griner under the tree? Are you kidding me, Christmas Biden? This is ruined! <laughs> Are you ready? It's another edition of KFC Radio on the Barstool Sports Network. The holiday season is here. The other day, I uh, poured myself a glass of KFC Radio Whistle Pig whiskey. I did that. Kicked back. Not the other day. I did it yesterday. I did it every day. Popped on. I, uh, we watched a movie. I had a fire going. Uh, it was a delight. What movie? Uh, we watched Spirited. Did you watch that yet? I have not seen it yet. What do you think of it? I've, I've heard mixed reviews. It's a mixed review type of movie. Yeah. It's... Uh, you know, it's a musical starring Will Ferrell. Mm -hmm. So, like, take that for exactly what it's going to be worth. It's not something that you have. It's not like Hamilton where people are like, you have to watch this, you know? That being said, uh, it is, there's two songs that I think are, like, very catchy bangers, one particularly. And so it's like a, it's a good for what we did. Mm -hmm. It's like a little, it's a good, it's not a children's thing. It's like there's some adult jokes in it, so it's skewed for older. Uh, it's got a good story. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and and also like when you so when you get together with like family and friends and shit, you're not gonna put on like on the Western Front. You're not gonna do that. You know what I mean? You're not gonna put on. Like, oh yeah, I haven't seen that. I heard that's really good. Yeah, I haven't seen it either though, because like I haven't been able to. I haven't had time to like sit down and watch a fucking subtitled movie about gore and war. You oh, know? I realize it's 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 German. I think yeah. A German. I think movie. so. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's World like, War Two. Which front? I guess it doesn't really matter which the world war Western is. Nope. front we're on here, but um, I might be wrong on that. I don't know. Um, but you know, if you if you come out of it being like like judging that movie and critiquing it, it's kind of like you're the asshole. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Right. Speaking of deciding who the biggest asshole is, uh, the game is on sale. We'll talk about that in a moment. I got to finish up this first ad before we get into another one. Uh, but it was like I was watching Ryan Reynolds tap dance. He learned how to do it. It was him doing it for real. I saw that Blake Lively commented. Uh, What'd she say? Can you, is it possible to get pregnant while pregnant? Yeah, she. He, 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 he no, can do his thing. Can't, <laughs> can't get double pregnant. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I mean like. When I was, oh wait, why don't we wait a week? Let's just wait a week. <laughs> <laughs> man, oh man. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so I'm watching that and, you know, as long as uh, if you're comfortable and you got your family around you and you got a nice glass of whistle pig, you can put on whatever fucking movie you want. I'm going to be a happy man. Double pregnancy is possible. Nah. It's rare, but it's, it's possible. Nah, yeah. It's nah, one of those things. Nah, it's also like, hey, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I believe, I believe there are tales, Maury Povich tales of mm. two different fathers. Oh really? Like I had sex <laughs> that day. I had sex that morning. I was ovulating the whole time, and I've got you know like one one baby who looks like this and one baby who looks like that. That's a nightmare. That is a nightmare, dude. Imagine that. That's like, I don't know. You're just carrying two, two bombs. Two bombs. <laughs> you know? uh, anywho, <laughs> this is all to say. <laughs> <laughs> Buy your whistle pig. <laughs> and you know what I love about them? We don't have to change a single fucking thing of that ad read. As a matter of fact, they're I the, love it. They're the rare, uh, the rare breed, the, the rare the, advertiser who's like, yo, don't don't stop being yourselves. Bro, the last of the Mohicans, man. <laughs> we, we are, they are the last ones that'll do it. Uh, Their ad copy is the best. <laughs> talk about KFC Radio Whistle Pig. <laughs> Call That's to action. It. Buy it now with the link in our YouTube. <laughs> That's it. Nailed it. But nailed they, it. they don't need to talking, write anything else nailed down. Nailed it. Talking double preggies. <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> Yo, try to get a chick double preggy <laughs> while drinking whistle pig. This is how you'll do it, man. It's like, yo, I got, I got, I got, uh, I got pregnant off the 10 year and then the 12 year. <laughs> get your KFC radio whistle pig whiskey, whiskey. If you're lucky enough that it's in your local town, uh, please do us a favor. Buy it. And then tweet at us or DM us the name of the liquor store and what city you're in so we know where to tell people to go get them. Uh, also, if you just want to make sure you get it, go to whistlepigwhiskey.com, search for the KFC Radio Single Barrel, and you got yourself some commemorative whiskey that tastes good, spicy, 
and smoky. Smoky and smoky. Uh, and you're going to really enjoy it. Smoky and smoky. Yeah, I, was, I, I wanted to talk to you about Spirited because, you know, you're the musical guy. So I could see you being like, this is a bad musical by musical standards. Yeah, but because, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm far from a musical snob. But like more so than me where I'd be like, I don't know, man. They're singing and dancing. They're doing the number. <laughs> I, I hardly know more than that. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm it really I, helps that it's just like, and uh, God, if this isn't the best fucking, if this isn't the highest achievement in life. I'm just like Ryan Reynolds is doing it. It's it's cool. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and I, that's not to say that like he could still if he put out a bomb movie right now, a movie that bombs, I'd be like, yeah, that movie sucks. But he gets like several points on the scale. Like it takes a lot more for me to be like, this shit sucks. If Ryan Reynolds is doing, hundred percent. Which is to say, is that not the greatest thing you can achieve? Like I can't even put that into I th- words. I think that's what the Buddhists call Nirvana. Yeah, I was gonna say Nirvana or some just some level of like, you're you know. You know, remember those things on the internet that would go viral? You want to do one of those where it's like you get this this pill for this and this happens and this pill and this oh, happens? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would want, you know, if there was one pill that was like $15 worth or whatever, that's your total amount. I'm, I'm explaining this poorly. It's one of those hypotheticals where it's like you have $15 to spend and $2 gives this. Or no, mm-hmm. the, the pills one is you get to choose two different pills. Yes. And they're like this, you get supremely good looks and this is like unstoppable strength and this is smarts and blah 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 if there was one i guess it's likability i don't even know what the term is i'm so far from this i don't even know what the word is but where it's just like everything it's you, charisma 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 yeah and, but it's but it's a tangible example of charisma you know when people you, you know you, you have a friend or because it's certainly not one of us you know, <laughs> where you're like man he walks in a room and like he just like owns it. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a certain je ne sais quoi. I don't know how to describe it. Blah blah. This is the there was a stage in my life. You were that guy. I had a stage. I I had what a stage. What was the stage? I, I probably early twenties, maybe late 19, 20, 21. There was a. I I remember vividly one night. You were the guy, bro. I remember one night there were like four girls. We were having a party at our apartment, and there were like four, four girls who were like furious. And and like I I even I was at the stage of my life too where even I was like Furious. I had the cocky I'm like I know about and you they like, were like they're like it just we can't take a picture with John because uh, the picture's immediately all about John wow and I was Are like like your close friends uh, they were at the time yeah, yeah so they're like and, fed up with like, yeah you and, being good looking and, and not that we ever had like, a falling out but you know life yeah. happens and right, uh, right. and um it was like we we had like a photo shoot. Of like, they're like they're, we're getting a picture that is the four of us, the five of us, and like it's not John's not the focus of it. And then <laughs> Get like, out of here. And like every picture, they'd be like, "What the fuck, <laughs> shit!" <laughs> and, like, and it was like, I, I don't, and I would just sit there and be like, yeah, no, "Sorry, that, that's, like, how, like, that's how I, I know. know. I know." Was it like <laughs> you're you you were in your best shape? Was your hair your best? I, I, no, was it like it was, I don't know what it was. I think I wasn't depressed yet. So I was gonna say. So, did you think? Something physically changed, or you think something like about Man, your? I, th- you I think it's also. You ever see the GIF of uh, who's fucking Superman? The first Henry, Henry Cavill. Cavill? Oh. No, no, the first one, the Christopher Reeves. Christopher Reeves, and it's him transitioning from um, Clark Clark Clan into Superman. Uh huh. It's very interesting. It's like, like it's like used as like a like the oh I, like the actor you're talking about literally. Like, yeah, like okay. the example of like body real life. acting. Yeah, yeah. So you pull up. See so if you pull up the GIF. Um, and it's like him like. It's him. I, I'll be able to see it. Yeah, yeah. That, that one. Uh, that one should do it. I think. Where it's like he like takes his glasses off and like his his demeanor you can shifts see him and like push his, up a little his bit. His chest yeah. like he's like he's not so small anymore. And, and I think that motherfucker just stood on his toes. Yeah. <laughs> like look at look at all this acting. He just like, stood on his tippy toes. Like, Get out of here. It, it, no, he never stood. It's it's. No, I, I get. I yeah. get you. It's Clark just like Kenton. it turns yeah. into like it's like oh, all right, that's yeah. Mm. <laughs> and someone who feels some type of way about themselves, and you now you're just back to class. now. Um, no, yeah, I, I went the opposite. You're I like I this. Go, <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you, I'm John. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely. Think now I'm a very small man. There, there's an aura, whether it's literal, like physically like imposing, or some pheromones or whatever. Yeah, there's that. There's that moment. You know, and you know why that happens when you're young? Because you don't ever think about like, like I just never even worried. I was telling this story recently about. Um, Everyone's talking about losing their hair and shit. And I was like, I never thought about it even once. I got, uh, I, I have a lot of similar genes to my grandfather and he died with like a full head of hair. So my whole life people were saying, oh, you'll just have hair just like Pop did. Mm-hmm. And so I never even thought about it just because I was raised being told that and everybody was young and nobody's pointing out anything, you know? And then I got to Barcelona and I took a picture and put it on the internet. And everyone was like, you're losing all your hair! And I was like, <laughs> 
and and it was just like oh as you get older you get corrupted and like i i never would have worried about it i never worried about how i looked i never worried about anything because i was just like oh, i'm just having fun in life you know and then you get older and you're like get jaded and you try to impress people and you worry about everything and then that spirals, spirals. and makes things worse it's a self-fulfilling <laughs> prophecy but man it would be nice to just be like i don't even you know you were you were 20 years old and just were like yeah when i walk in a room i'm like what's up you weren't trying to take over a room, no, right? You no, weren't, you weren't thinking about who's the coolest in the room right now. You, you know, you were just, just like, because like, you was up. You were just was living gang, life. I'm here. Yeah, and like the yeah. guy's here. Ah, the guy, and yeah. that's so being the guy. <laughs> yeah, capital T, capital G, the right. guy. I think that's what Ryan Reynolds has achieved in spades. And there's, he's not alone. There's a lot of guys, but particularly him. He has it with the girls. He has it with the humor. He can do a superhero movie. He can do a witty, you know, rom com, and whatever he does. People will watch, and then they will watch with a less harsh, like criticism yes, scale. Yes, no you doubt. Know? I, that I don't get. Like uh, I was doing it with with Yellowstone. I'm all over the place today, but Yellowstone is a bad show now. It's just poorly written. It, this things don't make sense. Like it, it's it's almost like Sons of Anarchy with like gunfights and explosions. But then he becomes the governor of Montana. Like things that are just like, come oh, on. does he? Yeah, John, he becomes John literally does. the fucking governor of John United Dutton. State. You know, <laughs> it's like he, like a week ago he you know was getting machine gunned down in the street and his daughter's getting blown up. And he's are like, you still watching? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was but, gonna say is that still happening this season. Uh, that is the like the end the last season and now for this first season opens up okay. with him being governor um, and people are just saying it's good and I'm like I think I think most people once they like something they just like it yeah yeah, yeah. and it's like that's bullshit though uh, but no, I but I see it I get it like Yellowstone I didn't I, I, Yellowstone I was I was enough to remain unbiased mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed it but I wasn't like it it has become like everyone's obsessed with it now. I um, like, hate dude, it. I remember we were at the old office doing like a fucking KFC DVR or whatever we yeah, did. Be on the lookout and for we this, like, right? Everyone, we, we were yeah. currently watching. We we're like, everyone should be watching this. It was season one. We're like, this is amazing. And we now we're telling shit. you, it's not so good anymore. Right. <laughs> right. And but and it's also like I love Costner and I love the that show and I like I really love Taylor Sheridan. But like, it's also okay to just say to yourself, this man has five different spinoffs. He's obviously mailing it in with the writing. And it's not good anymore. Yeah, I guess like with Fast and Furious, I'll be like, yeah, the last two weren't really great. They were, they weren't the Fast and Furious I know. Right, right. They, right. they, they took a back turn to it, and it got weird. Like, it is... People do it with music all the time. Yeah. I like this artist, so I like this album. Right. Well, how about you listen to the album? Yeah. And what if it's not that good? Then you just say, eh, that album's not as good as the other ones. Mm -hmm. But people lock on, and I, I, you know, personally, I probably love that. There's probably a bunch of KFC radio fans who are like. We love. We think your show's great, no matter what. <laughs> and I'm like happy about that. But it's also crazy to me that uh, people can't admit that. But that's why I think if you're a movie producer or whatever, you go get Ryan Reynolds, and it's like people are gonna like this movie. Yeah, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. It's gonna cost you a pretty penny. But you're also gonna make back probably what you spent on him because there are people who are just like, I like Ryan Reynolds. I like this movie. I'm gonna tell people it's a good movie. Mm -hmm. It's got eight, like 85% on, toma on tomatoes. I saw it was very good. It's a dude. terrible movie. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a bad movie. It's a, it's, a, it's a musical with two guys who don't do musicals. Like, it's, <laughs> what are you talking about? But you like both of them and it's kind of like, mm. although we were my going mom through. Said, my mom watched it. She was who I heard the mixed reviews from. And she said that like it's very noticeable that Will Ferrell is not Ryan Reynolds. Yes, <laughs> like, that is like his role is like be in the corner and be goofy while Ryan Reynolds is like actually doing the dance. For thing. sure, he's yeah. the cool guy. Mm -mm. But right, Will Ferrell, man, when you look at that that resume, he is like a he's like a '90s. He's not quite Brady Anderson, but like he's had like three good movies. Oh, I did. Where he's three, like the guy, bro. He has like bro. Look at right here. These are all classics. But not Daddy's Home, but Anchorman, Daddy's Elf, Home, Step Brothers, Taladega the other Nights, Nights is Taladega, not that good. Taladega Nights is flames, dude. No, it's not. Eurovision dude. Song was the reason why he brought it up. What the fuck is Eurovision Song? That was the one with Rachel McAdams like two years ago. Is that ago. good? It, it looks like awful. singing in it. I, it. I've seen people like Bro, you're so wrong it, here, dude. Blades of Glory, flames. <laughs> Semi-pro, flames. Underrated. Come on. Uh, Get Hard up there, flames. No, you're just listing his movie and saying flames. No, that dude, mean, dude, Get Hard it's, is it's fucking like dope, Lego dope, movie? Dude. Lego huh? movie's fucking Well, that, the, like, is that fire, voices dude. don't Stranger count. Stranger Than Fiction's really good. But he's also What's in that for a bit. Stranger Than Fiction. Uh, oh, dude, Kicking and Screaming? Fantastic. Come on. Dude, these are all like Fan You're saying Kicking movies. and Screaming is fantastic? Dude, Kicking and Screaming is really good, bro. To me, it would be like 
old school. Uh, the first Anchor Man. Oh, yeah, we didn't even say old school yet. Um, old school. I mean, th- and like Elf and uh, Step Brothers. Step Brothers is really good. Oh, yeah, like, we didn't say Elf either. The rest. These, I mean, this is these got he's got ten classics. These are not classics, Yo, bro. These are classics. They're bro. classics for like. F- also, he has a lot of great um, bit roles. I'll say that. Yeah. That, yeah, that, yeah. that was that. My whole point was that was his wheelhouse, where it's like I wouldn't say that. Uh, uh, obviously, like, Wedding Crashers is not his role, his his movie. But like Chaz is a great character, mm-hmm. and uh, and um, Zoolander as Mugatu, like he was a great. Yeah. But like, oh, but I mean, Mugatu's in it a lot. You think? Mug- you, but, I, I don't think. Mugatu's but but, but like yeah, that that it, movie is. He's that, like the main villain. I yeah. Would, I, would I guess so. That yeah. Of. But when when you say like who who's like who is Ben like Ben Stiller and and Owen Wilson that is their Zoolander that's Zoolander's movie yeah yeah you know yeah, I mean? yeah yeah but but I like yeah I would say it's their movie for sure but, but he's I guess not, that's not I, a big I, character I do say yeah because uh, old school's gone in the same way it's like that movie's about Mitch Martin really but he steals all the scenes yeah yeah, yeah. so I guess it's like where you you snatch like the scenes you you are the star but like to me like Blades of Glory and Talladega Nights and those are not that Dude, Talladega good. Nights I had to turn off after I had my appendectomy. Because I was laughing too much, <laughs> it hurt too much. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, "Oh, you didn't." Li-. I was like, "Yo, you didn't like that one either." No, no, I, no. I thought it was the it, funniest. It, it movie hurt ever. so bad. But Will Ferrell oh, also man. is of that perfect realm where, like, we've talked about this before, where it was like, "That's how dudes interacted back in we the day." Just said his we just words. said Will Ferrell. Another water, please. Yeah, he was. Uh, there was a period of time I would say from like 2000 to 2000, like 10. <laughs> Uh, I think I think you know who I think was a huge part of that Will Ferrell yes but uh, Sasha Baron Cohen yeah, I think yeah, the yeah. Borat my wife yeah. uh, all that shit was like really it, sin pancakes <laughs> vagina wizard sleep like all of that shit was was him um, but he's no doubt the king of that uh, a lot of like silly characters and kind of one liners and like fun roles. But I don't know. I mean, just saying that these things are classic doesn't make Bro, it classic. Bro, this you are you are saying some shit right now. I'm gonna tell you that you're saying some shit. What's the one I really don't like? The um, I guess I can't even say I really don't like it because I've only watched them like once and I was done with it. Uh, Semi Pro. Semi Pro. I've actually never seen Semi Pro. Semi Pro is good. I I I, th- I know people love it, but yeah. I, I actually haven't seen like, that one. Uh, to me, I don't even remember. I don't even know if I've really ever like watched them all. But to me, those are like. Pretty forgettable movies, but whatever. I know a lot of people speak, like uh, Will movies, Ferrell. So. Do you? I, I tweeted this. I love you, Will Ferrell. Come on the show. Uh, I, I tweeted this uh, this weekend that uh, it's not. Uh, yes, uh, obviously it's Mariah Carey's time, mm-hmm. but are the Harry Potter movies Christmas movies? I'm so out on Harry Potter that I can't even weigh in on. Oh, you I are just, seeing some bad movie opinions today. I, I want to. Harry Bro. Potter is bananas. I watched 10 hours I, of Harry Potter this weekend. I want to watch. 12 hours of Harry Potter. I want to eat bananas and watch Harry Potter so bad. Eat bananas? And I just can't. I just don't like bananas. Oh, oh I see. I see. That's what I you're just, saying. Like you want to do them together. <laughs> I do want to. Yeah, I want to do them together. <laughs> I want to sit down and watch this movie. You know, I'm a fucking nerd. Yeah. I love Lord of the Rings. I love other wizards and all that kind of shit. And I just, I don't oh. know. I put those on, and I just can't get down with it for some reason. I don't give it, like give it, it. A, give it a shot. This I holiday season because that's actually the other they thing. are holiday. I, they're I Christmas do, movies. I do want to watch. I've never ha- dated a girl who really liked them. My family's not that into them, so I've never like been in the in the vibe where people love it. Like I'm, I'm sure exclusively dated Harry Potter fans. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe. And, 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 and we're both and, losing. And, so, and, and despite that, I still love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess if you know, if I was in the room. Like, like I said, spirited. You know, like I could watch that movie in that setting, and I'll love it no matter what. So maybe that's what I got to do. But Harry Potter just never clicked with me, neither did Bananas. But um, I would, I would on the outside looking in, f- first of all, there's eight movies. So, like, are they all at Christmas time and shit? Are we talking about They're one all, like, movie? They all take place during the school year. So there usually is, like, some Christmas I mean, the aspect school- to it. <laughs> that's but a, a broad, you know, Christmas falls in the school year, so it's a Christmas movie. But they, <laughs> like, it goes through the whole year. Yeah. So, no, no, yeah. no, that's, that's my thing is – very rarely, I mean, like everyone, every movie probably has like a scene, maybe yeah. not even every movie, but like the first two in particular have some. Have some so that uh, that picture yeah. right there, go it's, up. It's it's, it's a whole thing in the books because he's an orphan and like he he doesn't want to go time go home. So like it's also else someone said time. that I think John Williams did the score for it and so he did like Harry Potter and all that shit. Yeah. yeah, and then he also I, I guess the original movies did come out around Christmas time. Like every year was when that well, that's was like when a the Christmas blockbuster. Yeah, so that um, that makes sense to me. So like, it, like I very much find them Christmas movies. I, I have this are. vision of like a, of like a snowflake falling, and you see like 
one of the like spires from like the castle that they live in, like in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's like snow around the uh, window, and then they zoom into like a very cozy fire and, and Hogwarts. Yeah. And a Hogwarts so, is very cozy as a whole. So like, I, I when think when they're that, not killing the children, um, <laughs> 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 when they're not having like monstrous murder bloodbaths. Um, so in that sense, I get I get here. How about this? This is a, I think this is something that needs to be Happy Christmas, Ari. Happy Christmas, Ron. Happy, happy, happy <laughs> Christmas drives me nuts. Kill the Brits. I, I, uh, I think there needs to be a term that like society accepts that's called like holiday vibes. You know? Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. can be like, these are holiday movies when it's called like a Christmas story, and then these are holiday vibes. And I think I would be okay to concede, you know. But we don't have movies. that, so I have to call it a Christmas movie because it is a goddamn Christmas movie. I'll take it. I'm not, that's fair with me. Get some other diehard Harry Potter fans on here who disagree. I don't know, but I'll take it. That's uh, fine. Fine in my book. Oof. Oof. Hang on. Scratch my penis real quick. Your penis you're scratching? <laughs> what part? And my ball bag, to be honest. Where, like, the penis meets the ball bag? Uh, the ball bag? no, under the ball bag. Why'd you say penis then? I don't know. It's, it's, like, it's like a vagina. It's like the whole thing. I'm not a doctor. I don't even know all the individual parts. Bro, the funniest <laughs> thing was that was, like, I said to him... Like why? Why didn't you say that? And you just picked the other genitalia. He was like, <laughs> "My dick's like a pussy." What do you want me? But it is. I don't go. Don't have you Weinstein me. It is like. <laughs> That's what I'm yeah. saying. You were just like, yeah, no, it's like a, it's like. A but vagina. it's like, like I don't know the. I'm parts scratching of my balls. It's like a pussy. It's like a fucking. You got a pussy, bro. You have a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's not my my pussy is no longer itchy then. <laughs> <laughs> bro. If you were a chick, your pussy would be <laughs> awful. You would have the worst pussy, oh, dude. It would be fucking hammering. It would all be. The time. Oh, first of all, it would be beat to smithereens. <laughs> it would look like an old coat hanging in the closet that's like been through wars. My pussy would learn how to talk. Just ask me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like Morse code, like flapping together. Yeah. Please stop, bro. Hammering take a me. night off, dog. You. It would be smelly. <laughs> it would be hairy. It would be smelly. That's not so fair. It would be. Why would it be smelly? It would be hairy either. And all that shit, dude. Your pH balance Bro, would be way go, off. You can't say that my fucking pussy would be smelly when, like, you know, I don't smell. Yeah, but I, I don't. Uh, that's a good point, point Feidelberg. But I do think that and you can't say my pussy would be hairy when you know I don't have fucking hair. But you no, know, you have a bush. I don't have a bush. You told me you, you don't. Ever. I don't shave it a lot, but I don't fucking have a bush either. You would just have a naturally. Clean pussy, you think? It is. Uh, yeah, I think, bro. You I think bro, I have a fucking tight pussy. You wish you could fuck my pussy. <laughs> 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 that bro, I, you should be so lucky to I get to fuck my boy pussy. Puss. <laughs> I think your pussy would go would make noise like this, <laughs> like wind coming in and out of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that thing would be lippy. Yeah, I could make. Oh, I could make a clap hanging. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you see me, my legs up like strippers. <laughs> I can't get my legs up. <laughs> that would be legs. that would be the worst part of fucking you is you can't do any positions. <laughs> like, come on, roll over, bend over, do this. You're like, this is as far as it goes, folks. <laughs> bend me over and bang my head against the headboard. <laughs> yeah, no, your pussy would Jesus stink, dude. Christ, no I think your pH balance would be a disaster, and I'm pretty sure that's what makes it smell. Probably. Right? Because like, <laughs> like you don't have body odor, but I bet like some of your internal like soup in there. <laughs> is off, you know? And if that ever came out, like it does in a pussy, you know? It's just so weird that there's just like this hole exposed to the world. It's kind of closed, but not really. It's not really closed. You know, you squat down to open, like to grab something and tie your shoe, it's, yeah. it's open. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you bend over, open for business. You sneeze, it's open. Open. <laughs> Cough, open, you know? <laughs> Laugh a little too hard, yeah, open. This is our understanding of vaginas. <laughs> this is how it works. You're welcome. It's just, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Right there, <laughs> it just it's just a wound. It'd be a disaster for it's you. It's a. Um, so we have a new card game on sale. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we this is, I think, after seeing the final product, probably our best creation ever, and we like botched the launching of it completely. Yeah. Uh, it's who's the biggest asshole. It is the sum, much like Answer the Internet was all the best hypothetical questions the, inter the internet and the podcast ever put together. Who's the Biggest Asshole is the best realist collection of, of scenarios and situations that humans go through. I mean, we put together 
all of the best from KFC Radio. Uh, we we modified and and kind of rewrote some of the best ones that the internet had to offer. We all sat together and pitched our own fucked up scenarios. I took scenarios from my friends' lives. This is like if you take, you know, people my age, her age, your age, your style, my style, their style, the internet style. This is like every question that can ever be asked yeah. about work, friends, sex, relationships. I and think it's significantly better than the internet. And I genuinely mean that. And it's not just a selling point. Because I think Nancy the internet, even like professional comedians, Sometimes have a hard time. The problem with answer the internet, it's a performance. Right. You have to perform it, your answer. Just, you have to be very, very, you to, very you have funny. To be quick. You have to this come is, up. This is just our favorite. Our favorite topic. Our hobby as humans is we get to sit in judgment of other people. You got to decide. This, who's an this game should be called that. "Talk About People Behind Their Back" because right. <laughs> that's what's going on here. Um, and what's cool too is like you have four, five decks of cards. Uh, um, what's going on here? I'm just trying to figure out how to tie my shoe. You can't get down there, can you? No, fucking no. Your flip, when you were doing Safta Boy Industries, was like, <laughs> it, is isn't that not funny? Uh, that that we had the conversation with Frankie uh, on the Monday episode about like not being able to do things as you get older, like a somersault used to be like as a kid I could do like twenty in a row. You do a somersault now, it's like, you know. It's an event. Yeah, yeah. Your body is like, whoa! What are we doing? Your neck, your back, your feet. Your you get like dizzy. Your equilibrium's off for just one little somersault. Polly, uh, Polly cut the video because she thought I was actually her. I didn't. Polly filmed it, but I didn't tell her anything I was gonna do beforehand. <laughs> that woman. Yeah, I, she had no no hint about oh. where to put the camera. <laughs> give me, give me audio. Give me audio. And, that uh, sound is just. It, it is so good. I'm not doing it. Willy Wonka thing. That's not true. I actually genuinely hurt my back wrestling with my cousin at Thanksgiving. Yeah. And, and I can't really stand up right. My mom's been yelling at me. She says, keep your head up. Keep your head up. That's good for the line on your back. But it feels much better when my head's crouched down like this. So I'm not doing a Willy Wonka thing. <laughs> That's <is> work. <laughs> 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 Every time I laugh, give it, give it to me again. That, ah, it's, it's not a groan. It's not a. <laughs> run it back! Run it back! It, it, it's like someone punched you. With... <laughs> it sounds like I got shot. It it's like me. half puking, half gagging, half kicked in the stomach, half pain. You're bleeding. Mm. You're squelching. Also, like. I, I I think when you do a somersault, you almost you're supposed to almost be like a ball, right? Like yeah, yeah. Your yours like your back stays straight and boom, boom. It's like if you took it's a, like rolling a, a cube. Yes, it's yeah. like if you took a, a if, it, if you put a, a box and tried to roll a box, that's what happened with Fidelberg here. It's like moving a fucking uh, mini fridge or a full fridge. Uh, was, uh, Did you see the super was, the super cut of yeah, all yeah, your yeah, noises? Yeah. The noises are spectacular. The, and 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 my favorite was Jackie saying, "This is just how the the." The, the that's what I thought. I was like, that's just like me. All, all day you'll just hear like <laughs> I just gave myself the hiccups doing all your noises. Um anyway, this is all to say who is the who's the biggest asshole has um uh all this gameplay. Basically when you deal out the cards, you are the judge for that for that uh round. We have these four things here where it can be you're the asshole, he's the asshole, everyone's the asshole, no one's the asshole, and you place them according to who you think the asshole is, and you go around and you bet, like, I bet that, uh, you know, the boyfriend's the asshole. And then if the judge who dealt the card agrees with you, you get, you double your bet, and you get a second chip. If you lost, you lose your chip. So that, and you, so you can play this game. Also, you can just talk about people behind their back. <laughs> and it's anonymous, but, you know, we know who some of the people are, so it's extra fun for us, where you can just be <laughs> like, you know, the boyfriend did this, and the girlfriend said that, and the boss, you know, did this to the employees, and who's the, who's the asshole in these scenarios? And you don't have to be funny. You don't have to come up with, like, a, you don't have to have a good memory to remember these things in the past. This is just like, hey, here's a scenario. Give us your opinion. Mm -hmm. And that is what this, I mean, arguably, that's like what the podcast is. <laughs> this is just podcast in a box yeah 
And I've seen some other uh, people with games out there now. I know, like, Cards Against Humanity was obviously a big one, and these type of games have been around forever. But um, with ATI and now Who's the Biggest Asshole, uh, I, I, I think we've got the two most, the realest out there. You know, everything is either, like, too much for family and friends and kids, not really real enough, or it's too much of a game. This is, like, the real deal. Yeah, We're talking real shit about real people here. So uh, go get your game. It's the holiday season. You got to get your uh, your loved ones or your romantic partners or maybe yourself or even just friends. Uh, you got to get uh, jewelry. That's the go-to, right? You, you don't get cute with it. Don't even try to be sentimental with it. Just get the people what they want. And you know what they want? They want diamonds. They want necklaces. They want earrings. They want pendants. They want bracelets. They want all the good stuff. And you can get it right now at Blue Nile where you'll make that memorable. You'll make that celebration even more memorable. It's the easiest way to, to, to buy jewelry. You don't have to go to a guy. You don't have to go to the diamond district. You don't have to haggle. You don't have to get hustled. You don't have to worry about quality. This is all uh, ethically sourced diamonds where uh, the clarity and the cut and all that is upfront and honest. Uh, they also have um, jewelry that's affordable and you know it can range everywhere from like the regular jewelry all the way up to the engagement ring. Um, and it's all one of a kind where you get the 24/7 service from jewelry experts on hand and then it gets shipped right to you. So that's just so it's, it's just like hey, we buy things on the internet now and it includes jewelry. Yep. You don't have to go to a store, you don't have to have like a guy on with one of those things looking at it. You can just get it on the internet like everybody else gets everything in the world. It's a 100% satisfaction guaranteed company, meaning all orders are insured and shipped for free in discreet packaging so you don't have to worry about the the surprise being ruined. Uh, they also offer overnight shipping, which is clutch for the for the guy who forgot the anniversary, for the guy who mixed up the birthday, for the impulsive proposal, yeah, for the guy who's just ready to <laughs> pop the question. You can go to BlueNile.com, use code Kevin, and get uh, fifty bucks off your purchase of five hundred dollars or more, and you get that overnight shipping if you need it. Go to BlueNile.com, B-L-U-E-N-I-L-E.com, code Kevin. Save 50 bucks on your purchase of $500 or more. That's code Kevin at BlueNile.com. I had another one of those moments, John, where I didn't realize I was depressed. Oh? You know where I just do these things where I just describe depression to a T? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I, was, I was in bed with a lady, a lady friend, and... Uh, the uh, I, I couldn't get hard. We, yeah, I've been there. No, couldn't get out. <laughs> couldn't get out of bed. Yeah, I've been there too. Like, I mean, we both laid there for till like nine thirty. It was like we gotta start PM? life. No, 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 no. It was like, but it was a, a oh, work day. It was wow. like we gotta like. <laughs> well, for for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, well, we woke up at like what seven, what dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, when when you wake up, how how long how long are you? When do you wake up? When do you when, when are you like conscious? Well, this morning, I woke up. I started waking up at five to poop. Uh, <laughs> but I would go back these to bed. Questions that I these are answers uh, that I don't. Bro, need you that much detail. last night? I so I, I came home last night and got crazy high, dude. I ate. So I started with. This is crazy. This this might be like my all time one, and. <laughs> I bro, I, I got took home, this long to tell us. I got home at 11 p.m. So I got home. Wait, did we do a bet for the weekend? No, but like, I, I didn't. I, I didn't okay. really do it. Cause oh, because you're home. Yeah, I, yeah, I was home. Yeah. Um, but I got back to New York at like 11 p.m. Before I even walk into my apartment, hit the boat. Hit the boat. I get downstairs. Starting at 11 is scaring me. <laughs> get get a um, Mexican sensation sandwich, which is like chipotle mayo, grilled chicken, or chipotle chicken, lettuce, tomato, all the shit. Get that. Get sour straws. An Oreo ice cream bar and a cheesecake. A slice of cheesecake. Slice of cheesecake. Yeah. In like a little plastic thing? Like one of those, you know, they have yeah, like pre-made yeah. slices in the bodegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, in the plastic thing. Um, and uh, the I fact wanna, that this is just the bodega pre, pre-night pre trip is I, scary. I want to say there was something else, but I can't really remember at this moment. Oh, a uh, box, a uh, bag of uh, Gummy bears? spicy nacho, the new, the purple Doritos. Mm-hmm. Um, whacked all that. Then smoked weed. Then I was like, "Fuck." That was before you were high. Yeah, and I was like, "That's the worst move." If I, I if I eat before I'm high, I just double eat. Yeah, and so I I I immediately ordered Wendy's, <laughs> two frosties, two frosties and a spicy chicken sandwich. Naturally, whack that. Still high as shit. Like midnight, drop an order for uh, 
I forget exactly. I mean, it was Chinese food, but I forget exactly what it is I got. Uh, let me look it up real quick. It, it last night at uh, at uh, doesn't have time on here. Um, but I got uh. Szechuan, uh, Szechuan spicy pork dumplings and kung pao mm-hmm. chicken and shrimp. Mm-hmm. Um, it does. Oh, one eighteen a.m. One eighteen a.m. It was oh delivered. My God. Um, so in that, in those two hours, I had three meals. Jesus Christ, John. <laughs> <laughs> so your asshole just wakes up, just like bro, bro, blown I out. I, I I knew I had. So we, we interviewed Frankie this morning, so I had alarm set and. I turned my alarms off. I was like, this isn't going to be an issue. <laughs> I'm going to be up. Oh, <laughs> it was all, I don't know if it was the dairy or the Chinese, I but. The will just like, all that. I don't know if it was the dairy or the Chinese or the <laughs> bodega cheesecake. Like these are, oh my God, man. <laughs> so you, you just been up shitting since five? No, I, I would go back to bed every hour. Oh. I go to bed every hour. <laughs> You're an animal. Dude, you're like my puppy. Yeah, I was gonna say, like usually I just I, I, I always just say you're an animal. I'm talking like you literally have animalistic. And, and like, I, w- I was sleeping on a just a bare mattress. No, 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 no sheet, no, sheet, no, no nothing. blanket, no nothing. Just like that weird, like, um, like metallic feeling yeah. almost. This is how I know I'd be good, be homeless or whatever. Like, I can do anything. It doesn't like I, I, the, I do not care. I do not respect you myself. You would be so I do not an care about unbelievable anything. homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be the goat. <laughs> you'd be the goat homeless person. <laughs> Nobody like other homeless people would be. You'd be the charisma guy. You know, they'd be like, yeah. "Oh, here comes John, the greatest homeless to ever do it." <laughs> well, I don't even. You know, the problem is, I don't. I don't. You wouldn't beg. Oh heavens no! You'd be like, I don't care. But I think that would work in your favor. <laughs> I could see a scenario if I went to work every day and I like on you know John's on the corner of Twenty Seventh and Eighth every day, and he just kind of chills there. And never bothers, never writes a sign. Always, if you, you were just uh, uh, umarelling, mm-hmm. if John's just sit there umarelling, I think eventually I'd be like, this cat's kind of like, I, I kind of do it. <laughs> There's a guy on 30th Street, 31st, 29th, one of those, and he sits on one of those fire hydrants that come out of the side of the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually has two things. Yep. Most uncomfortable thing in the world. <laughs> sits on that, crosses his legs, has a Mets hat on. He's not homeless. I know exactly what you're talking about. You know, he's not homeless, but he's like there he, every this day. This is so like the like, corner of like 29th and 7th kind of deal? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, he's just there, quiet. And uh, he, do, he actually, he's not that quiet. He does a lot of like, God bless, like just, just niceties, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, small talk. Does and he I, sometimes have a cardboard on the on the fire hydrant type deal? Perhaps, yeah. yeah that yeah, makes yeah. a little more sense to give yeah. it some some structure. But he wears a Mets hat, so eventually I, I would walk by like, great win last night, bad loss last night. And he always says things that do not make any sense. Like one time when we lost, I was like, fuck, man, like we got eliminated. And he went on this like little like sentence that made no sense. I'm like, well, you know, how that's how it works, man. And I thought like a parable of like about winning and losing was coming and just complete gibberish yeah. <laughs> and i was just like yeah man sounds good uh but i like that guy now because he doesn't bother and he seems nice just out there for the vibe yeah though. and i think you would and then i i don't have cash on me but it, like uh, he's also like not like i don't know if i should give him money you know he's not that homeless yeah, yeah. Like, he might be like I I'm, I'm, I have like mental issues. I'm not homeless. Like, yeah, I have a home. Like, like, take, keep your fucking money, I'm on, man. I'm on break from five guys. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. But I think you would end up being mm. one of the more uh, successful homeless. You also, you know, you dress like it already. You'd be like, my wardrobe is set, baby. <laughs> you know, I got like a big overcoat and some fucking flannel. Like, mm. I'm all good. You'd be a horrible uh, summer homeless. Be tough. Oh, I'd be whining a lot. But also, <laughs> I'd be good. I'd be good at that. Like, because I could just get naked and just lay spread eagle. <sighs> You do that. You're already used to the heat. Yeah, we're used to the heat, man. The greatest awesome. homeless ever, John Feidelberg. Someone amazing. should write a book about that. <laughs> like you know when people do like scared straight, and sometimes the guy is not like scared enough. You know, like, it doesn't work. Like I remember there was a kid uh, when we had like a drunk driving like dare week in high school. They had a car on the front lawn of the school, and you got into it and you wore goggles yeah. and it simulated drunk driving. We didn't do the. We had the goggles. We didn't drive a car. We didn't get in a car. We just had to walk like on like the yeah 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 basketball three point line or something. This like that. had like a little simulator almost. You drove a car. The screen, the the windshield was a screen, and I remember there was this kid who was you know the drinker in school. He was like the number one guy, and he got in there and was like. <laughs> Parallel parking, driving, three point turns, no big deal. And the instructor's like, Dah! foiled. God damn it. Uh, that would be you, but but with being 
fucking homeless, homeless man you're like yeah i was born to do i was <laughs> this is me it is what it is brother this, what, what's the fucking goodwill hunting this is easy for me yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i can be almost it's it's easy for easy me for me man proper wild is a clean all-day energy shot designed to boost your energy your focus your productivity all without the jitters or a crash there's no preservatives there's no artificial sweeteners there's no horrible chemicals just a natural tasting energy shot with clean ingredients that work uh, I use it here at work because the crash is the realest shit ever, man. It Which is. We're about to crash right now. Um, I um, need to and use I need, it for and, the and mar usually, marathon. Usually, or the telethon. Usually, I can go home when when we got something after the crash. It's for sure going to be proper wild. I also think in the beginning days of the energy shot industry, I'm sure they were just pumping like poison into you. Yeah. I'm sure they were like, I don't know, this gives you like a bajillion milligrams of caffeine. Mm -hmm. Who cares about the rest? Mm -hmm. And now. Places like Proper Wild have figured out the way to do it clean and to do it safe, nothing uh, dangerous, nothing toxic, and you just get that steady, it's almost like extended release. Don't quote me on that because I know it's not, but it just it's not like it's a rush and then a crash. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like you just get a steady level of being focused and getting through the day. One of those things where you're almost like, you know, the, the best... The best uh, uh, reaction is when you don't even realize it's happening, or all of a sudden you're like, oh, wait, I've been like doing my work, and like I've been, you know... I haven't even thought about how yeah. tired I am. That's what Proper Wild gets you. Uh, and right now, you can get 30% off everything when you go to properwild.com slash barstool. That's properwild.com slash barstool. Get 30% off. You can get whatever flavor you want uh, and not worry about that crash, the jitters, or putting anything bad in your body. It's properwild.com slash barstool. You know what I, I am always a sucker for? Those clips that are like... Did they say this or that? And you can hear it both ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see the O oh Barbie one? No. So the latest one, you know, it's almost like the audio version. Yanny and Laurel. Right. Like the yeah, audio version yeah, yeah, yeah. of the dress. This is uh, from a Barbie cartoon. I almost want to, um, I'm going to maybe do an experiment here. I'm going to try to cover the bottom. And you just tell me what you hear. Okay. Yeah, have Steve played on there. Yeah. But, uh, oh. yeah, I just won't look. Hey, I can't really. Pass, uh, no, I'll, I'll look at you. Pass play. I can't. Can you turn it up? I can't really. Yeah, turn it that's why I wanted to do it on my phone. Oh, fuck, it's okay. yeah, in the very beginning, you hear like a, and then he goes ah. Play from play from the beginning. Yeah. What are you hearing? I, I honestly can't hear anything. I can't make out any of the words. Just, like right off the bat. Just that, right after that. Oh, what do you hear? Here, look at it and I'll cover one more. Those were vintage? What do you hear before that? Oh! Oh, Barbie, those were vintage? Now, now listen to it with fuck in your mind. Do you hear fuck? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> and, and then you look at it. Oh, Barbie! Versus, <laughs> ah, fuck! And that is like, what are you, Barbie and fuck? The, the are like, like, nowhere like. close. But I then the amount of replies I got from people... This is clearly doctored. The first one is not doctored. The, the third loop is doctored. I got people going, clearly he's not saying Barbie. Like, clearly he is. It's a fucking Barbie cartoon. He's not saying <laughs> He's fuck. talking to he's, Barbie. It, it's very clearly, like, logically, he says, also, oh, why Barbie. Is, why is my guy tied up in the corner of the bed? That's <laughs> a bigger question. Barbie's getting fucking <laughs> after it. But, uh, oh, fuck. Is, I, I love that kind of shit. And every single time, I'm amazed by it. I'm like, I don't. I'll, uh, you know, most people by this point would be like, oh, yeah, it's one of those things where your brain can just hear. But every time I'm like yeah, amazed, yeah. <laughs> it's like a fucking magic trick to me. You, I can I can just go back and forth. Yeah, like, yeah, me too. Barbie, fuck, right. Barbie, fuck, 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 yeah. Barbie. And the amount of people like who who are like it's it's actually a really good test for um, uh, people who like are able to are not like narcissistic about life where they're just like. It's Barbie. I can hear Barbie. That's it. Yeah. Nobody, nobody's hearing fuck. You're yeah. all like lying. <laughs> and clearly it's something. <laughs> Half the people replying are saying fuck. You know, I, I remember the first time like I shifted the way I thought about things was the dress where I was just like, 
it's gold like or whatever it was like are you fucking crazy yeah, yeah. and that's what i, I was a blue at, black guy myself. that that was almost like a i was like well, what, then why do we argue about anything ever again? Because who knows what the other person's thinking yeah, or Maybe seeing. that's when my shift started. Yeah, you think? <laughs> the know. dress? It's like, uh, I'm like, why? what's even the point? Because maybe you're hearing or seeing or whatever completely different from me. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Such a, it's like a good... If you think about how hard you got to hit a fuck to make it sound like Barbie... Ah, fuck! <laughs> Love it. All right, One Minute Man on KFC Radio. Let's rattle through some topics. We'll start with, uh, we ha we didn't have the, the podcast to discuss the Balenciaga uh, screw-up. My, my, my Not screw-up. So that's my favorite part. So Balenciaga is suing. Suing who? Exactly. They are suing the advertising company. They actually, I think they have a little bit of a case uh, in the sense, only this. They said they didn't know what those like papers were. I don't yeah. think you would like you probably should lesson learned that you have to check but the, they were probably like and then we'll have a shot of a messy desk with a and you wouldn't be like let me make sure that that's not a supreme court ruling about child porn right, right, you know? right. so that and, and only like, that it, it was like in uh defense of child porn right, right. The, the, well the ruling like i don't know what the, i don't know what the paper said but the ruling in the case was that you can do uh virtual child porn but so listen to this the so balenciaga is suing for 25 million dollars they're suing the, the advertising that house. It's called like, low. Yeah, I agree. It's called like Nicholas de Jaren or something like that. Um, the photographer is taking no blame. She was like, I just shoot what I'm told. The like designer was like, I didn't know what any of this meant. Like, fuck all you. Yeah. Like anybody who was like involved in it or even just there should take the blame of being like, you can't be like, I didn't know what they were going to do with that. You were taking pictures of a little kid holding a bondage bear. <laughs> you know? See, I, I the only the thing I can think. isn't that bad. The bear itself, because, like, I mean, is that a bondage bear? Like, yeah, if man. That's, yeah, no, that's a bondage bear. Is it? Like, I mean, zoom in. I, I haven't really seen I mean, seen I guess it's, like, it's, it's technically just, like, leather and straps. In the, it's not, it, like, like, a ball gag and a fucking cock sock or something like that. In but the I think absence it's, of the child porn letter... That doesn't to me. It doesn't. Not, not I kind of agree. I, I I don't think I. It's I a little weird, but like it's I don't think it would have been like it's a high fashion. It's a little weird. Yeah, I, I agree. It's it's Benetton always used to mm -hmm. do that. There is that very um, that one's more like that's yeah, that like right up your bondage, that's like up yeah. your crotch, you know. Yeah. Uh, I just can't believe like kids. The the champagne glass is a little odd too. Or parents have to be on set yeah. for this. Yeah. Yeah. That. So also that the parents who do that, it's like. What the fuck were you guys thinking? Bro, you, you, I was thinking my fucking kids in a Balenciaga campaign. I guess. Run it. I think that... I, <laughs> Take I the pictures. I don't think kids should be allowed to do anything other than kids stuff. Like you gotta advertise kids clothing? Fine. Kids yeah. advertising for adult products is fucking bizarre, dude. Yeah, you're right about that. But That's everybody crazy. trying to pass the buck? Fuck that, man. Like, you you asked for some edgy shit, and you got it, and you got, and, and you fucked the pooch. I'm, I'm actually mad that they're suing and everyone's doing this. I wish they were like, "Fuck you guys." I kind of agree. If they were like, they're like, "Oh, you're mad about us? Guess what? You couldn't afford it anyway. Go Fuck back you. to your fucking nine <laughs> yeah. to five and shut your fucking <laughs> yeah. mouth, dude." Like, I like, I give a fuck what, what, what you was... think about my child porn photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't, bro, you couldn't sell your house and buy a pair of my shoes. I don't give a fuck, you broke bitch. <laughs> the the down payment on your house would maybe buy one pair of sneakers. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, Kim put out a statement saying that she was shook, shaken, and disturbed. Um, bro, how about this? If you are Kim Kardashian, if you are anybody who is, uh, who is, I've been quiet for the past few days, not because I haven't been shocked or outraged, but because I wanted the opportunity to speak and uh, understand as a mother of four, I appreciate Valencia's removal, blah, blah, blah. This is the opportunity. Right, so everyone has to have those fucking whatever you would call them, like not preambles, but like just as a mother, as a father. Uh -huh. Why don't you just have empathy? Dis disclaimer: as a know. human being with empathy. Right? How, how about that? I have a fucking brain, and yeah. I'm like well adjusted. <laughs> um, what an opportunity to go to just immediately disown them and get the good PR, and then just go to like. Benetton or whoever, you know, there's more Balenciagas. Yeah, there's yeah, other, yeah. you know what I mean? You could just go. She didn't leave them though, right? No. no I yeah, mean, no, she's not going to leave them. Yeah, why, no. why would you not? How, how much know. money could they be possibly paying her that she, to, to get the good PR of being like, this is disgusting. I don't support anything with child 
child, anything, I'm out of here. And then you go to their fucking competition. Bro, bro, it's the same kind of thing, though. Like, who who actually cares about this? Who can afford it? I like. Yeah. Is Balenciaga selling anything less? No. Uh, is, is, is Kim yeah. getting great PR for a long time? No. Kim will do something again next week that everyone everyone has her. She has has everyone hating her. Uh, like, I think her, you her would good get PR more, is very fleeting. I think you would get good more good PR out of bailing on them than like the value of sticking with them because like you're kim kardashian A anybody fashion wise will get down with you yeah no doubt you well, know Balenciaga is the fashion police they're not the only one no though. but they're the one right now no doubt not anymore <laughs> I, 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 I i i do i, I do think, think a blip on the radar i don't, I, think I don't know i i think i think when people see balenciaga they'd be like kind of like what you said about your yeezys when uh you had a tweet that was like anybody wearing yeezys right now had an internal conversation like yeah, yeah. can i wear these and if you are wearing them, you said yes. Right, you know? right, right, right. I think that if you openly are like Balenciaga across your shirt right now, I think you would get like some shit for it. You'd be like, oh, childborn, huh? Oh, I think anyone who wears Balenciaga is a fucking loser well, anyway. But like, you know, separate. Yes, they're I so, totally they're agree. such like Balenciaga. That the is. shoes and the, remember, they're the ones that sell like the garbage bag, yeah, the bag right. for two thousand dollars. It's the most try hard shit in the world. But I think the same way that you'd be like, oh, uh, white supremacy, huh? Uh, I think you would get hit with the with the Balenciaga like. Because things just go so viral now. Just everybody knows about it. Every, like, literally also, everybody no, knows see, about it. See, that's the thing. I was think the, so. You don't think this reached? I thought that I, this reached. Uh, uh, I wasn't. Jackie, I got to give her credit for it. She sent it to me when it first, first happened. And I was going to do One Minute Man, but I can't because everyone in this company is a bitch now about what you can and can't say. So I was like, <laughs> I'm not going to do it because I can't do an ad on it. And then like two days went by and I was like, I got to say something. This is so big. And it ended up doing numbies. Uh, it's like the biggest, my biggest that I've ever posted on my personal account yeah. because I can't post it on the main one. Because I do, I think it reached, uh, not like, like I don't think my mom would know about it, like household level, but like I think a lot of, I think it reached a higher level of, of viral than other shit. I, I was at, I was out with like family, we were at a brewery on Saturday and someone brought it up and I was in a, I was in a group of 15 people. They didn't know. And like three knew. Yeah, there's such a divide of like, if you're on the internet, I yeah. mean, I mean on the internet, or not, you yeah. know? This podcast is brought to you by Hey Dude Shoes. Love these right here. They've got uh, like the black and white Oreo knit design on the inside. You almost have a little uh, brown and gray camo. Lightweight shoes. Look at this. They're like well made, but exceptionally light. These are like when ja light. when Jackie like it throws these at like you, like up. it wouldn't even hurt, you know, if you're packing. Easy yeah. to pack. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and easy to uh, to wear as well. You can pull them tight if you want, and you just got these little bungee cords, or you can rock them, slip them on and off. Uh, they've got the lightweight um, but functional uh, soles, so you can rock them outside and not worry about getting wet or dirty, whatever. They're just the comfiest, lightest, coziest shoes out there. Uh, they also look good when you put them on. They kind of look like, almost got like a wallaby type look on the front, or, uh, you know, your classic, like... <laughs> casual shoe. Uh, they don't have the weird thing on the back. I hate those ones that have the sole that go all the way up the back heel. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. are fucking weird. Uh, but Hey Dude is uh, revolutionizing the game with uh, with lightweight shoes. Also, you can get them in the, in the winter and holiday season, and they have ones that have the uh, faux fur lining. So it's a lightweight shoe for warm weather and the spring and summer, but also got the fur lining. Uh, on the inside if you want to do the winter months as well. Uh, try a pair for yourself right now. Your, your toes will be in chill mode as soon as you slide in. It's like letting your feet kick up. Everybody kicks your feet up. What about letting your feet kick up? So welcome home, Tolls. This is peace from the soles up. Use code BARSTOOL for 15% off at HeyDude.com. Grab a pair for yourself as a gift to the special guys and gals in your life this holiday season or get them for yourself. That's HeyDude.com. Hey, dude, good to go to. All right, right before uh, Team USA's big match against England, we were out here simping for Taylor Swift. Yep. Your thoughts on the tweet? You like it? I mean, it was fine. I, I, I was surprised at how upset people got about it. People were a little like I, it's I, I like was, I don't know. It wasn't the greatest wheel of all time. It wasn't like yeah. I think it's oh a, it's it's kind of weird if you think about like the the circumstances. If this would be like you know if the Mets were going into like game game one of the World Series, if you were about to play in the Super Bowl or whatever, and you're like hype up tweet is like a like look at me fucking yeah. pop star. It's just like not the right time. It's you know? it's 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 a, it's a peculiar tweet, no doubt about it. But like I I I think it's it's. She's such a lightning rod that it doesn't like anything. Sure, is well, anything's gonna be a big deal. Like you're simping for, and like 
people are people who think about Taylor Swift the same way they think about soccer. So it's almost a perfect storm, a thunder snow type deal, mm -hmm. where it's like people who love her love her, people who don't, and you're not gonna who, like, I don't get it, yeah. I don't like can't handle it, yeah, and just get infuriated, enraged, yeah, that other people enjoy something that they can't really wrap their head around, right, right. And when right. you combine those two, it's just like the perfect storm of shitting on. I I feel like it was also you know if Taylor Swift like writes back quote tweets this and says like like go usa or some right. shit it's like the biggest thing in media right or like yeah, the biggest yeah, thing yeah. of the day so you took a shot um but it's it was i do think when you're trying like i said in my granted this was you know the u.s men's national fucking team tweeting so i'm comparing it to regular fans it's not fair but the British fans were tweeting videos of 9/11. Yeah, <laughs> there, there was they, somebody made one of the videos of the uh, the bar with the green screen screen, you yeah, know, yeah. the TV, and it was the fucking towers getting hit, no and the bar going way. crazy. Yeah. So like, and when you're talking about soccer, and like, I feel like you know, international football, it's about like your your place in like your standing in the world. You know what I mean? Like, are you like respected in soccer internationally? And when you do stuff like this, you're just not. Yeah, you know, like you could have the best team on the field, but you'd still be like, eh. These guys, they tweet at Taylor Swift. You know what I mean? Now's the time to be like a fucking hooligan, not a not like a pop star fan. The uh, I'm looking for a tweet right now. I retweeted it during, uh, I think it was the day of the match. And it, it was almost like we were saying about chants and singing at soccer games versus, um, you know, just the the very monotone, repetitive chants we do here. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. American sports fans, defense. Yeah. Defense. Mm -hmm. British sports fans, all right, lads. I've worked up a song to the tune of Debussy's Claire de Lune about an opposing opposing player's drunk driving charge. I'll count us off. <laughs> so true, man. Yo, I, I I gotta say too, like it it is hard. It is very hard. Uh, I you know I, I got gassed up, and to watch a zero zero tie is still just tough when you're just an it average is. American fan. It's like I know there's nuance to it. I understand that, you but know, like you weren't like getting charged up, like 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 when they had like four corners in a row. Yeah, you're the, getting charged up when Pulisic's walking to the corner, like head yes, bobbing. Like, yes, let's go, let's go. Like, you get yes. a little excitement but there. Obviously, you want that also to, pay off, to say, also the fact that they just didn't try anything with that last kick. Yeah, the announcers were like, "Oh, yeah. one last shot for the uh, United States yeah. here. What are they gonna do?" And they were like, "They just decided to walk it off." Uh, I, I get. There's a lot of the like, uh, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. that kick. And I'm totally like every time Pulisic had the ball, I was like, just shoot it, just shoot it, just shoot yeah. it. Nobody else is shooting it, just shoot it. But uh, yes, all that's true. But then to just I be thought like, that was a rather as far as zero. I, I completely understand. I'm not going to try and defend a zero zero like as like it's crazy excitement. Yeah. But as far as a zero zero goes, I there did was think action. That was pretty exciting. Yeah. That's what that's the problem. Yeah. You know, it's like I also think it's kind of bullshit. It's like a lot of football is boring. A lot of football, like like it's American. American football, it's yeah. Like, you know, second and second and long, and you run it up the middle for like two yards and fucking you know, oh, like I, I, shit like I, that, I, where it's just like this is a stop and go boring game. A I lot said of the that, time too. I said that know? yesterday because someone was quote tweeting and, you know, it was like someone someone was tweeting about how why soccer gets shit but baseball doesn't, and I was like I just quote tweeting I was like I was like really the entire conversation is. Things you don't understand are boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. But that, you that's know what, it. You know what it is too though. So there, why are we even arguing about? There's it? also just. All and you can find you, you can find things you don't under, you do understand boring that happens but universally if you don't get something it's boring 100%. I I also think the thing with soccer is there's just there's really only two things you do it's like you, you see speed and you kick the ball right? right like in football like you're going to see touchdowns you're going to see catches you're going to see hits you're going to like there's more things that occur almost you know what i mean yeah. in baseball you're going to see like, are, a you, diving catch or a fucking great throw from the outfield on top of a home run or someone steal a base like there's and i'm sure you can break it down like well there's corner kicks and there's these kicks and every game has its there's nuances impressive dribbling there's like, yeah. there's, there's I, like yeah, sick what, moves but there's like i didn't see any of that at least to the naked yeah. like i didn't see anybody like cut anybody up in that whole game you know, right. it's like to not I, I don't see, remember exactly. Like in the NBA, you're gonna someone's gonna get crossed up, someone's gonna mm. get dunked on, someone can run and jump. Like it just seems like there's more individual things, like plays, to be like, oh. Whereas this was, you know, soccer is just about. I mean, I I felt I was like, you know, they dominated like the possession of the ball. I guess it was like they we had the ball on their half like the whole fucking time. Mm. But there's it is tough to be like, let's go, guys, everybody watch England, and it was like. Uh, yeah, zero zero is pretty <laughs> fucking yeah. Um, back to American football. Uh, the Commanders once again trying to honor the late 
Great Sean Taylor. Uh, and once again, completely botching it. This was supposed to be a a statue, I guess they called it. To well, I I saw I saw that they to were his name. very careful. They didn't. They can't call that a statue. <laughs> to never use the word statue. What did they call it? I don't. I don't know the a answer display? to that. I just I saw it on display? Nate's Twitter that it was like some. He was quoting someone being like they were. You could tell that they were noticeably careful to never say the word statue because it definitely is not. It's just mm. it's a it's a mannequin without. I actually don't know how they did it. To be honest, it's like looks like it's just like a jersey floating. <coughs> right, like I don't see any. Oh, are those are those like That's poles? just like wire frames. Like oh, wires, oh, yeah. oh! I really hate this now. Uh, how <laughs> yeah. about how about this? Those are soccer cleats. I think that he wore. He wore soccer cleats. I, I uh, think that's what it. Uh, that be, okay. bro, bro, I'm telling you that better be. If, yeah. if that, yeah. if they just were like, I, on <laughs> I didn't see the wire thing until right now. I thought it was just like a floating jersey and a floating pair of pants and shit. The fact that it was just wire is is not great and this comes after they did that memorial where they yeah why is sean tyler's in soccer tweets so uh cleats okay. so at least they address that okay um I, the second i saw like that little tongue sticking up i was like that's that's not th- this th- this is comes after they had like the fans like standing on his number or whatever and in, in another memorial they've just like fucked this up a couple times now I don't oh, know. Oh, it was Jackson Mahomes was saying on his number. Right, he was doing TikToks yeah. on, the fucking, <laughs> on the number of his... They, they did his number right where the VIP stand is. Right. Which, and Jackson Mahomes caught more shit for that than the team, but also the team having all these people like walk on his shit right. is not great. Yeah, whether or not Jackson Mahomes was there, the VIPs that game. They were right. playing the Chiefs. Whoever the VIPs of that game are, are going to be standing there. Yeah, I mean... It's, Jackson Mahomes it's, is almost like the Taylor Swift soccer thing, where it's like, it's a perfect storm, but people but were going to be standing yeah. there. I... I uh, um... Like, this is there's a little bit of like subjectivity to this, but like this objectively sucks. Yeah, you know what I mean. No doubt. Like you can't. There's if you put up a statue and some people are like, oh, I like it. I think it looks like him. And some people are like, ah, it doesn't even look like him. That's kind of like how that art works. But this is like this thing stinks. It, it looks it looks sickly. Yeah, like it's not even a statue. It looks like a. It, it, demi- it, it looks it like an old man him. in a football uniform. Yeah, like if you, yeah, if you wanted yeah. to like show like what a one of the, bad one of the most impressive athletes was. of all time. Yeah. yeah, it's like this thing sucks, and you can't. There's just no way that that thing was underneath the blanket, and they were like, "Here we go. Are you ready, guys? <laughs> like we're about to fucking unveil it. Here we go." And they were like surprised by how much this thing sucks, right? They look like they spent all the budget on the glass. Yeah, was. yeah. Like I mean, the, that, the hexagon pattern repeating is cool, but that but that's not so yeah. quickly made. You could do that for you know something that's not a, honoring a dead guy. Like, why not just go with like a, a gold fucking statue? You know, like just do the thing that people do. Just make a regular one, you know. But I don't know. I just it, 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 once again the, the PR of these things where it's just like, how did just do nobody? It, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> like just. <laughs> and then, and when you did it wrong, <laughs> that one's kind of funny. Who, who's <laughs> that, oh, that? That, but that's also that's fucking <coughs> what's his name, Lin Juan. But that's that kind of makes uh, me laugh a little bit too, though. That's make, that's like that fucking, looks funny. That like you can't make it look like a human either. It looks like a, a wax statue, you know. Like just do also, it. That's also at the Pittsburgh airport. That's not. Oh. That's not like the team. Right, 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 right. That's that's a goofy thing to do too. Though, just make a regular fucking statue, you know. <laughs> Wait, do you think uh, Vin Diesel was hacked here? The caption. I need Brittany Griner home before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. So Vin Diesel posted that on Instagram. <laughs> a thumbs up of Vin Diesel at a basketball game, at a Lakers game. <laughs> and it just says, I need Brittany Griner home before Christmas. First of all, bad news, Vin. I don't think that's happening. I'm glad someone's finally doing something. <laughs> 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 Someone really standing Brittany's, up to make Brittany's this. Brittany's been slaving away at a Chinese, uh, at a Russian, Russian labor, camp labor camp for 12 to 18 hours a day. Uh, Vin's going to get her home. Dude, I... <laughs> I mean, look, man, he's going to get her home. It might be Vin. I'd ra- I want, I'm would like, not saying he's going to do Fast and Furious type stuff, but my boy Vin's got pull. He's got some sway. <laughs> I, I will say this. Brittany Griner, the Brittany Griner case has made me feel not so good about like America can get shit done if they need to. <laughs> you know, like like if like you feel like you hear these locked up abroad stories and so I know they're real. But I'm I'm also like if anything ever happened, like US authorities would like make sure I like get extradited or some shit and they're just like, we can't do it. We're not gonna let that guy go. Like the the, well, the, the, the the chip that the Russians are asking for is like an international arms dealer. Yeah. Like if you let go of like this mass murderer, we'll let her go. And even then, I feel like 
I would expect America to be like, this is bad news, but like the world is a bad place and we're going to bring our girl home and deal with the repercussions. And they're just like, nope. Yeah, I, 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 I am one of the uh, of the ilk where like I get it. <laughs> Like I'm not, not worth, breaking her. I'm home. not worth trading that. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like if I was, well, I'm sure if I was Brittany Griner in the current state, I'd be like, get what me the fuck the yeah. fuck out like, of here. Like the first time that she got the call, uh, like yo, they're not doing it. She must have been like, what? Yeah. But also like, I would be like, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I did worth. break the law. That well, and also, I, she was and living over there. She played over there, right? She was playing over there. So yeah. like to me, if you're like the United States government, it's like you chose to go live in a like a questionable country. And you lived there, so you know how they roll, and you violated their terms, and now we have to let go of, like, a fucking dangerous dude. Right. Okay. Like, g God forbid, imagine there's, like, another 9-11, and it's that dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we right. traded that for fucking Brittany Griner. <laughs> That's not a great trade Well, we gotta make Vin Diesel happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta get her home before Christmas. <laughs> you think that, that Vin Diesel's gonna sit there, wake up Christmas morning, and be like, damn it. No Britney Griner under the tree. Are you kidding me, Christmas Biden? This is ruined. <laughs> God damn it. I like Francis' blog where he's like, she should have escaped by now. <laughs> <laughs> Britney Griner should have broken out by now. You're a superstar athlete. Dude, have what are you, you still doing in jail? <laughs> uh, have you ever seen the clip I just saw this morning of uh, Natasha Leggero talking to Anthony Jesselman about 9-11? No. It's one of the funniest stories ever. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can yeah. just put the clip in. She... The night, September 10th, was cheating on her boyfriend with this dude. So she stayed over in a hotel, and she woke up in the morning and had, like, 45 missed text messages because she moved from L.A. to New York. She was living in New York, and she thought she was caught. And she said, she was like, oh, phew, it's just 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank God. <laughs> and the way she said it now, like, obviously in the moment she didn't call it 9-11, but in the, while she's telling the story to be like, oh, it was just 9-11. <laughs> it's very funny. The, th the panic of being like, oh, my God, oh, my God, I'm going to be in so much trouble. And it's like, oh, well, it's just a tower collapse. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. Shout out. <laughs> I forget his name. Mohammed Atta. Atta. It's a bad man pajama. What did um, you say right there? <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that, Jack? <laughs> what did she say? just a different Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> if you are living paycheck to paycheck, that's no shame in that, by the way. There's a lot of people living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, if you're, you're struggling to meet ends meet. Yeah, it's crazy. I learned what like one of the biggest things in life that I learned is that your expenses really do grow like proportionally with your fucking with your raises and stuff. Yeah. You know, it's like. I'd rather go back to when I was making less money but had less bills, you know? <laughs> um, so even if you're, you know, later in life and your salary's big, but you can still be paycheck to paycheck and you need to make ends meet, and then you get really stressed out when you have that unexpected bill that hits you, uh, now Dave can help you get out of a pinch when you really need it. Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. That's more money to fill your tank or buy a wedding gift or catch up on bills. You can finally tackle those expenses that have been stressing you out without any hangups. There's no interest and no credit check needed. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and you need some extra help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from future you. Download the Dave app from the app store right now that's d-a-v-e sign up for an extra cash account and get up to five hundred dollars instantly for terms and conditions go to dave.com slash legal instant transfer fees apply banking provided by evolve member fdic future you will thank you make sure you get that money when you need it dave.com extra cash today oh my god is this castanelli <laughs> hey there kfc fights jackie nick pavs a little bit of a dilemma wanted your opinion on my longtime barber who I've been going to for over 20 years. I was going to make a comment about it. recently yeah. told me he had some health issues and it sounds like he might be hanging it up or not be working for a while. So the dilemma I faced was do I write it out, see how long and take him to come back or do I go to somebody else? Well, as you can see, went to somebody else today they did a great job so my question dilemma that facing oh. is do i go back to my original barber 
or do I stick with this new person who did this good work? Kind of feels like I might be cheating, but if they're going to be retiring, maybe it's not. Just wanted to get your um, um, on that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I you can't even hide it now. I can't. I I, <laughs> I thought this video was going another direction. When well, he when I, he was I, like when he I was like obviously, he... I thought he was gonna be like. Obviously, I got this awful haircut. I don't. Think he loved it. I don't think it's. A, like, I'm not. I don't, I don't. I would not notice if the, anything about this guy. I hair. mean, yes, but like if we're if the conversation is about getting haircuts and we're like talking about it, I mean, like that. His right side is like a like a diagonal upwards. Like this is. Yeah, like, I wish we'd be able to find the picture of mine when I got my haircut in New York. It's one of my favorite blogs I ever wrote for Barcel U was. Uh, like, is this the worst haircut of all time? Uh -huh. And it is... Nick, if you're trying to find it, I know I referenced Lady Gaga in it at one point. I don't um, remember... I remember Hubs is having a terrible one. I remember... <laughs> you know what's funny is your beard trimming got popped up first. But you find it? Uh, no. Like, uh -huh. Give me a second. It is like... Is, I, I know like the PS was like... Like Lady Gaga said, like, until then... Until next time, I am my hair. And it was like, <laughs> it was like her... Her song... The was I, it when you had, like, short hair? Very short hair. Yeah, so very like, short Because that's hair. when you can really notice it if it's like really short, not short bro, enough, it not is, faded, bro, not blended. My fucking, it was, a, it was a woman, but she fucking like, like shaved like up to here. <laughs> and then like, this is just like a crew, like Santa Cruz top. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, like, like you want it to be on the sides, but she went like all the way up here. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I'd love to be able to find this because I would read this blog. It's, it's. I mean, it's Barstool U in probably 2013, maybe. It is going to be very, very, very hard to find. I, no, that. actually, I bet it's 2011. Yeah, so, those it is, are like... I lived, in my, I lived in my New York apartment when I was 21 years old. I, I think if that. you do, like, Feidelberg, do Feidelberg, BarstoolSports.com in, in, uh, in the search bar, not in the... No, 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 in, in Google. In Google, you're good. Like, BarstoolSports.com. Yeah, I already tried that one, only a couple pop And then do, ha uh, do, do bad haircut in quotes? I, 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 I don't even... I think it was, it was is, is this the worst haircut of all time? Was I believe Hubs has a really really yeah, bad Hubs one. Yeah, brutal one. The well, yeah, yeah, try that worst haircut. So it's weird haircut. Seth had the worst one ever. It is. It, it, it's 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 gonna be impossible to find. But it was. All these ones are popping up though. So just keep you know keep searching through. But these are all post fucking. Dem nest and shit. Oh, Danny had a really bad Danny one. Had a bad one. Do you remember that? That reveal yeah. was special. What the hell is the doing? That was a great class. Um, I, you know, again, like that to me was not like a. That guy's haircut is fine. <laughs> Looks like a fucking cockatoo, dude. That is an that's all timer. Kind of, that's kind of what mine was like. Only my the the long hair is much shorter, so right. it sticks up more. It's like it's almost more Worse. noticeable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it is, that, is <laughs> it is. that looks like a um a thing where like when you do your hair you look like Tommy Shelby and right now you just haven't don't you yeah, have yeah, styled yeah, yeah, or something right. like that so you can kind of get away with it even though it's not um that other I mean that that kid's haircut looks like um I don't you know I'm not, I don't want to be mean but it's just like it looks like a supercut so you like you got like fifteen dollar and it's probably what he, you know you got like a old Italian barber man yeah, who yeah, just yeah. gives everybody the same exact thing for fifteen bucks and you know you tip him and go. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't look at that. I just put it this way: if I went to someone new and I walked out, I wouldn't be like, "Found Gotta my guy, yeah, found yeah, my girl," yeah. you know. Um, so I, I thought that was going a different direction because I was gonna say, "I've done this." I used to go to Benny, and Benny cut my hair from when I was a fucking pup uh, in the in the fire engine, you know, like old school, gave me the lollipops, and then cut my hair through, um, you know college i guess um and like when i moved to the city was when i stopped like going but for like a long time probably almost like 30 years he cut my hair but no no because the point was he started to get old and i think he got sick okay so he was first chair because he owned the joint he then sold it to one of the other guys so they got to take the first chair and he kind of got bumped to the end and then it was like he would only come in like every other saturday or whatever so if i happened to be there when benny was there i had to go to him and he had like those cataract things where you can see it in their eyeballs. Ooh, you ever see like, no. I don't know what, if it's a cataract or what, but he had like these like gray things like in his eyes that I could see on his eyes. So I was like, I don't even know what you're seeing. Yeah. <laughs> and I can see your eyes are fucked. But he was just like, he had this laugh. I found, like this. I found something else. Holy shit. What? I just sent it to the group. You could pull it up. 
Let's see if I can find this guy. Because he was kind of like known as a uh, holy Hank. <laughs> holy moly. I wouldn't, yo, I would not know yeah, that's Hank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you showed what me that. What is that from? That. It's, it's your Handsome Hank, fun fact of the day, he blow dries his hair. That was from Dante the Don. And you just wrote, you quote tweeted RT. Uh, you said, oh, wow. <laughs> that's old. That's old school bar sore. It's like you blow your dry your hair. You're a fucking <laughs> gay. You're so fucking gay. You know, it's like <laughs> when I commented. Kid looks like an R word skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, 2010, 10, 26, 2013. Right about the time you can say that you look like a retarded skeleton. <laughs> yep, bro. That was when he wanted to do the road to 200. We said just be a cool guy with a. Uh, with like a skinny, skinny cool guy cool with tats. Dude, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's also no beard. Like a perfect example, you know? Like, but uh, how funny is that? Like, you blow dry your hair. <laughs> <laughs> that's like you use an umbrella in the in the rain. It's like these are totally you normal fucking cool. things. Uh, anyway, I had to go to Benny when he was available. He had no eyesight. He was old. He was like, it was like a corpse. And uh, he would get terrible haircuts. Just awful, you know? My barber died when I was going into eighth grade, and so my dad was like, all right, I'll just cut your hair. Oh, and no. we decided to do it for the first time right before my first day of eighth grade. Oh, uh, parents do these things at these times. <laughs> yeah. like, he's like, we're over the summer, dad. Yeah, exactly. He's like, we're going to save some money. We're cutting hair from, from home now. Yeah. So he starts cutting my hair, and the clip falls off and goes straight through the top of my head. No! <laughs> so before the first day of eighth grade, I had a shaved head. Full head. And then like the teachers thought that I, I like had cancer. <gasps> So no they, they like said like a note home like is Mikey okay like <laughs> all the kids call me Cancer Boy for like a no! month. <laughs> was it that low? It was like it I, wasn't I'm, like a I'm buzz cut. A it was like a right fucking, right all the like, kids call me Cancer Boy Jesus, for thanks a, a lot, Dad. <laughs> Glad we saved twelve dollars on this. <laughs> yeah, I traumatized myself. I oh, almost I got, uh, I got it right here. I almost ripped Shay's tooth out of her head the other day right before her mom was taking her for fucking professional uh, photos. And I was like, yeah, that tooth's almost ready to come out. She almost, she would have gone in there. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah, that's, that's bro, cancer, dude. Bro, you look like a Mormon cancer yo, patient. Yo, for, <laughs> wait, first of all, do you have hair like by your ear there? Doesn't it look like you have more hair? Like, uh, yeah, I don't like know. Just, it just looks like maybe it's a picture. Second but. of all, you have that Mars Attacks head. Yeah, you mm. look. You got that dome mm -hmm. that goes out. Mm -hmm. You look like a watermelon head. And your yeah. ears you look, look huge. You look like you escaped from somewhere. <laughs> Yo, like, like, you look like he looks you like escaped. 11. He looks like 13. I was going to say, he looks like you escaped from somewhere. Like, they <laughs> yeah. were experiments on you. Like, you, this, you have this 14 tattooed on your fucking shit. This is a kid. Do me a favor. Can you just zoom in or crop just your face? School shooter picture. <laughs> no doubt. This is the picture they show. Mikey Jeez. was always really sweet to us. We had no idea. And then the, and then the documentary yeah. zooms fully into his eyes. You know, it goes all Dude. the way in. What's the guy's name? Adam Lanza. Adam Lanza. Lanza? You know, this is Adam Lanza's Dude, that, like, that's copycat. Adam Lanza pick. That you oh. look. <laughs> and that's like, I'm ready to shoot it up. I'm going to like not shoot the one girl I have a crush on, but everyone else, they're going to get it. <laughs> Got dad's AK. Here we go. What's the, how do you do like a model face where you, it's like you like raise you your You lift eye. the eyes, you smile, then you, you drop the eye, or you drop the smile or something like that. Smile. I forget, but you, whatever it is, it yeah, looks you like you're trying to do you, it, but you're fucked dude, up. Dude, you do this, you smile, <laughs> you lift your eyebrows, and you drop your smile. You keep your eyes up. I can't even do it. <laughs> There you go. You look like a model. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. He just looks like a school shooter. That's nice. <laughs> That's your look. Anyway, uh, switching barbers is a tough thing. Um, but it's one of those things. I've never done it. I, I'll move cities instead. <laughs> you you treat barbers like you treat like relationships where it's like, I won't actually pull the trigger on this. Just like either you, like the the place has to close, right. or I'm moving <laughs> cities. I've, like, I've, it's just I've, like I'm yeah, I just, I do, you just think, leave. do you think that there are... I also, but you know what? Before Erica, before Fleischman, I bounce around. I never had. A you were a slut. Yeah, I just go. I'd would go. you go to the same place? No. Wow. I, go, I used to go to the same place. I go wherever, and I would wait for one guy. It showed. But if the there were days that like I I um I like was in a rush or whatever, I'd be like, I'm just gonna go to him. He's yeah, available yeah, yeah. right now, you know. But even that would be like, I'm scared. I'm just gonna go to him, and I'd have to be like, I, I'm pressed for time. I, I never even wait. considered that. Ever as like I don't know why I just something that never crossed my mind until now it's one of the only things that consumes me. Your hair? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm I'm I, I've mentioned a few times I'm considering buzzing it all off when I decide for a haircut, 
And uh, I I have nightmares about telling Erica that every single day. I know she's gonna be so <laughs> mad because you know what it is. It's like well, she's gonna talk me out of it. I'm not, that's yeah, not gonna end up happening. The reason why I she, like going she's Erica, talk me out of it. She's gonna say no. no, and you're gonna say okay. Yeah, <laughs> because she to her that's like it's almost like if you had a personal trainer and you got fat. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I did all this work. <laughs> we like combed it this way and we made your hair do this and that, and now you're just gonna take it all off. Fuck you. Uh, but the but like going to different barbers, they're just like I don't know who you are. I'm just gonna. You, you know, give yeah, you a cut yeah. like this, and that's all that I do. I also used to have, I used to feel bad about if people were saying no to the uh, to the one guy. Like there'd be a line for Benny, yeah, and Tony's available, and he'd be like anybody, and everyone's like, I'm gonna wait for for Dude, that's, Benny, and that's and I, how eventually I'd be like, okay, I'll, I'll just go to Tony. Tony, like you can come here. I, I I feel bad. Like that's how in my my hair blog. That's, that's how I, it was like a woman was waiting for like two kids, and this woman got done and was like okay like w which one of you guys wants to go now and she was like like the children she's like no no we're gonna wait for the other person and then i was like i was like i'm game mm. and bro she cut my hair the whole time she was on the phone <laughs> like i remember she's gonna like hey yeah. and i was like you can't i was like, I was like can't this can't be right this can't there's no way this is a good haircut I'm but, right but now. this is all to say i think that guys it's kind of a running joke with dudes you get that you sit down you hate your haircut they show you the mirror you yeah. say I love it, tip it, and you hate it. Like mm. it's become a cliche at this point. That or, or and or people say this. I feel like I'm cheating. We need to stop that. Yeah, like yeah. you can get your hair cut by whoever the fuck you want to get your hair cut by. <laughs> and I'm sure there are certain people who are like, oh man, I thought you were like my client, and now like I'm a little mad that I lose you know your twenty bucks or thirty bucks or a hundred bucks or whatever a month. But like whatever, you know what I mean? Okay, like, we, like we put this pressure on. It's like. This is insanity. Yeah, yeah. We're just talking about getting a haircut. <laughs> who fucking cares? Go stay, you know, stay or don't stay. Who cares? But, uh, yeah, I think you can pick whoever you want. Next up. What up, KFC fights, rest of the crew? Um, just popped into my head something that happened last year. Um, just kind of randomly popped in my head. Um, it was St. Patrick's Day, um, and I was a personal trainer at the time. Um, so I had to be at work at a gym at, like, 530 in the morning, whatever. Um, anyway, St. Patrick's Day, I'm living in Athens, Georgia. So St. Patrick's Day, kids are out, or sorry, kids, college guys are out partying, you know, late at night at the bars. I live like 10 minutes from downtown where like all the bars are. Um, anyway, so I get up the morning after St. Patrick's Day. Um, and it's like 4.45, 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm half asleep, don't know what the hell's going on. Go out to my car and I open the back seat to put my bag in the car and there's a dude just laying in my back seat just sprawled out passed out um i guess he found his way from downtown found an apartment apartment complex started opening up car doors until he found one that was unlocked found mine passed out whatever um tried to get him to wake up <laughs> so i could go to work um you know couldn't get him awake for like 10 minutes i ended up like smacking him in the face Jesus. he woke up drunk as hell didn't know where the hell he was um, gets out, walks off. I still have no idea what the fuck's going on. It's five o'clock in the morning, you know, I'm whatever. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Um, and you know, I get it. I've been there. I wasn't even mad that he passed out in my car. I was like, I just got to go to work, man. Just get out. Um, anyway, all that being said, quick question. What is one thing that's happened so early in the morning where you're so half asleep, you just can't comprehend what's going on? and leaves you thinking for like days about the situation. Cause I was like, you know, did he go to other apartment That complexes? story How is to ask a question, what's like the most annoying thing that's happening to you in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were like, you know, I thought he was gonna drive to work with a homeless guy in his back. <laughs> I seat thought he was too. Like, I think like, he like, like, like that, so that's, forget about but that also, question. I like, I like this, I like the story. I like how he was just a bro about it. Well, so. He was just uh, like, hey, man, I don't fucking care. Like, just get the fuck out of the car. What's your limit though? Okay, so let's say, Let's say it's like old school bar stool. Dave has the fucking axe over your head at all times. And he's like, if you're not here by 10, this happened, right? Uh -huh. Everybody has to be at work by 10 o'clock. And you wake up, you go downstairs, you're hungover. It's like 930. You're going to cut it close anyway. And there's a dude laying in your backseat. And he will not wake up. He will not move. He's big. It's hard for you. Like, let's say you couldn't even drag him out. 
Would you just hop in the whip and drive to work? Oh, I probably wouldn't even try to wake him up at all. <laughs> just leave him? Uh, no, and, no. and then go to work yeah, and leave him there? That'd probably be the first thing. I, I, I'd be like, oh, God, here he's again. Here we go. <laughs> like, I, I, I probably... That would be funny for that guy. He wakes up, though, and he's like, what the... F I'm in Milton? Yeah, yeah. Went to sleep <laughs> in the back end or whatever the fuck, you know? The, uh, I, yeah, I probably wouldn't even try waking someone up. I'd just be like, whatever, bro, you're coming with me today. <laughs> like, like a kid who, like, fake sick home from school. And like, fine, you're coming to the office with me. Can you get right, to, this you is to, it. That's where you get to hang out all day. Right. Right, just right. fucking sit there in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for this. You dude, wanted this, dude. I, I think, I think. And, and it, would you, you know, do that at this age? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the. I think I'd be worried about him waking up and just. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'd keep an eye on him. I'd have, I'd have, I'd have my wits about the, me. Just the back, you know, looking in the back room mirror. Um, but I think, and, and it's probably because I've passed out in random places and stuff like that. I think people should be real cool about this. <laughs> I mean, like, like if, in other I'm, if I'm cars? in your house, dude, like. Just let me take oh, a nap. Oh, quick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just leave me. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll let myself out. Dude, like, I'll be, yeah. It's like, yeah, don't, have to, don't, don't have to freak out about it. Just fucking. Like when Pat was trying to break into that person's room the other night. Yeah. Like, like just dude, be cool. Why don't you just fucking just be cool about it? Yeah. Don't be a dick. Just let me hop in bed with you, bro. Well, take a quick just nap. let me give I'll a little touch. touch. Let me just, you know, maybe just jerk off a little bit. Whatever. <laughs> Where's your flower pot? It's no big deal, man. It is. <laughs> I, I think, and I, I obviously I'm speaking from a place of privilege, if you will, where. No one's fucking with me, right? Like, like no one. Ain't nobody fucking like, with me. But like, I'm just like with a, like a, a woman is obviously in a much yeah, different situation do than I am. Yeah. Where like I, I walk downstairs and I see some drunk dude pass out on my couch. I'm like you fucking idiot, dude, get up and get out. Doesn't that like, happen to you, you a lot? Your friends bring home friends. And that's they, how, yeah, that's happened did once. Did he bring home like a Brazilian family once? He brought home two people that didn't speak English that were uh they were student. What is it called when you're a student but you're not from America? Uh I, I get it. For the same shirt. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. just didn't speak any and English. And then, uh, did you ever tell us on the podcast? I told us on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, he, they it just was, hung out, right? They were, yeah, they like, basically, they, they, she, got, he got the guy, the girl to seduce him, so he would bring her home, and then as the cab was leaving, he hopped in. Right. And then they right. got there, and like, what the fuck are you going to do now? And my buddy was so drunk that he's like, all right, I'm going to bed. And then just left. <laughs> but did he end up fucking the girl? They just no, he didn't. They just slept on the couch. That was just like, you know, like embezzling your friend into someone's house, you know? Um, I don't even, you know, as far as the actual question, I don't really know. But what, what's like the, what would be the limit of like, where you would, you wouldn't allow it? All right. So like someone sleeping in your, what if, what if someone, like you woke up and someone was in your apartment? And you, like, I wouldn't be furious. Like, like let's say you I mean, had a big night like, too. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, like, like you, like half baked. If you had like a guy, like half, a guy on the couch. Too, where I'd be like, so like, you wake up, like, because if, if you have like a normal day, and someone that means you have like a burglar who broke in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, if it's, it's enough that you're like, oh my god, I don't remember like who I was hanging out with last night, and then you're like, oh, this dude, like I brought him home. Uh, <laughs> I'd have a lot, a lot of questions, to be honest. <laughs> Checking a lot. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be pretty concerned about a number of things. Pavs just has this smirk on his face, and I feel like Jackie wants to really be actually really, really mad, and she's holding it in. No, no, no. I'm, I, I'm so with you on this. Di I mean, dip spit is one of the most disgusting things in the oh. world. Did he spill it on you? Yeah, there's a little bit on I There's don't nothing to on it. you. Like, Let's see. Now there's I'm no, it, no, I didn't want to look before, but there was, <laughs> and it was, and then dried. What what happened? Your cup, your your uh, bottle yeah, I was spilled just, over. I went to go grab my cup and then I oh. knocked it over onto Jackie's. Like, if anything, it got on the bottom of your. This shoe. is what though. This is like Zins, right? This is Zins. It's, yeah, it's missing like water. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> bro, dude. This is you. You jumping in with it's just Zin <laughs> and you trying to minimize. It's a bottle of your spit <laughs> yeah, dude, that Zin should is, never even it's be not like fucking even brown, be like dude. only a little bit got on you. Oh, that yeah. is gross. <laughs> never mind. That might be worse, bro. <coughs> the brown might make it way better. Oh my god. <laughs> That yeah. is. Yeah, the brown honestly the brown makes, makes it feel it like better. it's like a thing. That's just like slippery saliva. Oh my <laughs> heavens oh to my Betsy. God. That was that is repulsive for sure. <laughs> you should you know you know what we need to do? We need to get you a, just a uh like food coloring. And just, make it brown. Just drop, <laughs> drop food coloring in there. Whatever, it doesn't have to be brown, whatever color you that want. Is purple, disgusting. I don't give a shit. And, yeah. That, that's Yo, no. y'all share an office with me, and you guys have the gross <laughs> table. <laughs> the, the the dip spit, the dip cup is a thing that is. I, I've I've said this before. Like, if you grow up around dip, it's just normal. People talk here like death the whole time. They're spitting. We got the cups. It's no big deal. If you don't grow up around it, when you see it for the first time, like when I went to college, like nobody I knew did it in high school. A couple hockey guys maybe did it, but to the point that I, I didn't even like realize what it was. 
And then all of a sudden you're sitting around like at a house party with a bunch of like rugby dudes and there's just full fucking <laughs> bottles yeah. of spit and everyone's <laughs> like, this is normal. And then inevitably at some point somebody knocks it over and I'm like, we're just okay with a huge... <laughs> Like Bro, 20 I ounce have, bottle I of tobacco saliva? Everywhere, dude. Oh. dude and you know, it's crazy too. Like, you didn't oh. even see it until you went to college. Like, everyone in my life did. Yeah. My dad did. My best friend's dad did. Yeah, my uncle like, did. so if like, you grow up around it, it's like, it was whatever. Like, dude, my best friend's dad, he kept just a fucking, like, big bottle just by his recliner. And it would just, like, he would just spit into it until it was like, almost like a spittoon. Like, he would spit until it, was it was full, full and then he'd just go throw that out and get a new one. Okay, but he got a new one at least. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, he emptied it and kept yeah. the big boy. Oh, bro, I had a buddy once who was so fucking broke in, in uh, high school that he was fucking into a... Uh... A bedpan? No, 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 no. <laughs> what do you call the fucking str strainer? He would dip, oh. he would have dump, dump it into no. a strainer and then get like another rope out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> double dip. Yeah, yeah. He literally double yeah. dipped. No. That is. I didn't know where you were going. I didn't no. get even get Dude, what it I've meant. Do, I've done that re, is, I've done reclaimed dabs and that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> that Dude. that that doesn't seem as bad to me though. I, like I you told burn you. The, you're talking like you burn the little goo dab shit and then you can smoke it again. Yeah, yeah. But you that's put, different you, than someone. Yeah. I chew on this leaf, this yeah. chunk of leaf, and then I chew on it again. Yeah, it was, it was well, bad. I knew a kid who needed a dip so bad that in like practice and lacrosse practice, he would take the dip, put it in between his toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And cut yeah. it. That was those, thing, that was those, those people, girls. The girls did in high school. Those yeah. people are yeah. absolute. The girls dude, dude, are the girl, animals. I went to like I went to a boarding school. The girls would be walking around like in their fucking Louboutins, and just inside of them, just be sweating fucking brown juice. Oh. Like, dude, hey, these were like the well. It was the well don't off you girls have to, like, too. Cut it a little bit, or something? yeah. You yeah. just a little cut in it. How come your and your your lip is already like an inside skin, so you don't need to cut it? I guess so. I also I, know I, that I menthol had, stuff doesn't have. Like, I had a kid who yeah, would do that on it. his gums. I, I mean, he had braces, so he <gasps> he would rub oh. it on his braces first to cut it up more. Have you ever? Uh -huh. No, you never chewed uh -huh. once. No, I neither. Dude, I've never done it. So, yeah. Really? I never. never I I know I'm gonna throw up. Everybody who does it like later in life throws up. And I'm not gonna do I that. Feel like I, you gotta do it. Once. I know. I have no interest. <laughs> I won't do it. It's I, I will uh, not do it. I also don't like. I know you guys are always like, uh, it's like a head high. I'm like, I don't know, man. If it was like we, like a weed feeling, like where it's like you can like th chew on this three chi and get high, I'd, I'd get it more. But I just have no desire. I'm to. just part of the generation that's just ruined. Like we, I started dipping like freshman year of high school. Everybody had dip, and then like by the time I was a sophomore, it was like. Every single person had a jewel, so it's like always yeah. nicotine it around. Yeah, it ever since I've been nicotine, trying to get tobacco, rid of it. Yeah, fiends. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's. Well, I don't give a shit about your your ha your habit uh, your your habit. Like it's a little weird. Again, when if you're like in a any somewhat formal setting, and people are just like, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, bro, that was. I, it's like what do you, you're talk. You just have like it's like talking with your foot with food in your mouth. You just mm. you just have this thing in your mouth, and you're talking to me. But then as you're talking, you're <laughs> I, I was talking to Erica. And I'm not supposed to react <laughs> to that? <laughs> I was talking to Nardini recently, and, and we were just talking about how, like, it, it was because of how we grew up, and by that I mean, like, how we grew up in, like, New the, England. The, no, 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 no. Oh. No, I mean, like, the business world. Like, how oh, we oh, grew yeah. up. Oh, right, right. How Barstool, like, right. our level of employee grew up, like, at Barstool, and then we kind of became a business. Yeah. And, like, it never even crossed my mind. To not go into meetings without a dip with in. a fucking bottle like, of your own like I'd be gross like, like the saliva. old office. I'd have fucking like a fucking like be like I'd be like in a meeting with like the CFO and the CRO and the CEO, and I'd just be like, just I don't know. And like it was, <laughs> it was fucking. Absolute I didn't think twice animal. of this. When was the last time you had like a dip mishap, like a spill or something? Oh, like that? I don't. It didn't. Oh, spills were regular. Spills happened all the time. Oh. But like like last time, I I think of like a mishap as I drank it, and I, I oh. probably haven't drank it. I probably haven't drank it in a while. Bro, a gulp of dip spit would kill me. <laughs> I would literally die from the, the from the gagging. That is dude, there so was, disgusting. Dude, there was one time, like that was when I knew I was like, I was like, oof, I might have a real problem here. But like I just fucking I was I was driving through Ted Williams Tunnel in Boston and I took a sip. Because it was just like, you know, when you it was kind of like, it was dark, it was night in the Tableau Tunnel, mm -hmm. so it's fucking dark in there too. Mm -hmm. And like, you got the, the Russian roulette, the you water play every here time, and the, water, yeah. your water, and that. And, I just and there's so much spit in it that it's starting like, to feel like a 20 ounce yeah. bottle. So I just like, I was driving, oh. and I just kind of twisted off, and took a sip, and like, I was like, no. Just gutted, I was like, ah! <clears throat> All right. 
<laughs> the new Feidelberg would vomit all over yeah, the fucking windshield. I know. <laughs> That's fucking gangster to just eat it, literally. Would you ever date a guy who, like, dipped? Mm. Have you? Would you? Um... Yeah, because a lot of guys do, but like yeah, it's almost just like you have it's to like. So gross. Like, would you be like? I never had a girlfriend like, who could about it. I've actually never really know, thought it's that crazy. gross until that just spilled. Like, I've never really cared, and then that just spilled, and now I'm now realizing it's a how gross I think it is. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> like, like uh, you would go out, you'd be at a party. Would you like make out right after? Like, oh yeah, yeah. I had girlfriends who liked it with it you in like a you, minty you would, mouth. You, you would not with it. Not, yeah, I have before, but that was very. That's very rare. That's hard, yeah. no? <laughs> it's very hard, yeah. I mean, not, not like, like full... tobacco getting in her mouth, too? Not like full-blown makeouts, but I've definitely kissed with it before. Crazy. Yeah, I, I, so I wouldn't say I've made out. I've kissed with it. God, that's gross. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do you ever do, like, a double horseshoe? No. I, think... I remember watching a kid go, like, look at this. And just the whole fucking mouth. I've definitely done like... a horseshoe. I've never done a double horseshoe. And that, I mean, that was, like, in high school. Like, I, I didn't do it for pleasure. That was in high yeah. school, like, fucking around to yeah, put the most like in. try to eat the whole thing of bubble yeah. tape. Yeah. <laughs> I was like the nine-year-old version of that. That's disgusting. You guys are disgusting. It's crazy that we accept it as in any form of society. You're vile. You're vile animals. I'm sure the dip community. I I remember guys who I used to work with uh, when I interned on a trading floor, who ordinarily would just go have a smoke break, but they're traders and day traders, so like you can't leave the floor for 15 minutes. So they all had to resort to that to get their fix. So that I can kind of understand. It's like I, you know, I would lose like hundreds of thousands of dollars if I left my, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and I'm fucking starting to tweak. So here you go. But goddamn, fucking animals. Um, all right, let's do a little. Did we get cut off? Like where were we? Do you remember? Can we just? Uh, end we it? Oh, we're, we're in the we, middle of a voicemail, we, right? So we're good. We pretty much wrapped up the voicemail. Like, the third one. So we're good. The second one. Second we one. Wrapped okay. Up. Okay. KFC fights crew. Um, it's Thanksgiving went out last night. Thanksgiving Eve in the Newark airport this morning, United Lounge, in the single stall bathroom so I can throw up hungover puke in peace. And so that just made me think the best or worst places you've ever thrown up. I've thrown up at the Coliseum. I've thrown up at Giants Causeway in Ireland. So like the I don't know Coliseum? if you have cool. any That's iconic mm. puke spots because I'm adding Newark airport to that list today, Ugh. unfortunately. Best puke spots, man. I'm a I'm a field puker. Like I just like just an open field is my favorite. Oh, I guess she's not asking favorite. She's asking most unique. No, but and but but wait, I mean, I, field I love, is a pretty unique answer. Just like you're partying at like a like a music festival or something. No, like just like I'm thinking about my friends who have like big yards. Go to their like backyard high school and just puke. puke. Yeah. Like, I'm actually up. not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of anything where it splashes like onto your feet and stuff. Like I, I, I'm a pretty I act, to, I'm a sniper. I'm Chris Kyle with the shit. But I I, I but like the. The splashback, you know, like you can. But I, I, I don't think I got much. Better. Dude, I puked in the field once. Me and a chick both fucking puking in the field, and Lovely. then we just, just fucking started making out right after. Love it. <laughs> That's like, true love, dude. Like fucking just drunk as shit, just like like just bleh. sucking on each other's puke like, coated. Yeah. Probably slightly on my mustache. Oh, <laughs> um, well, puking sucks. Puking. Sucks I think actually, the worst I think have sex ever. after that. I was gonna say you probably. F- <laughs> you boy. <laughs> you know I'm eating couscous too. <laughs> um, the uh, the yeah, I, I I I'm not much of a puker. It's pretty rare that I puke, so I don't really have a lot of uh, a joke, right? Well, I uh, drinking puke. That was a fucking joke, right? Drinking puke. <laughs> obviously, that was a fucking joke, right? Obviously, I puke when I was gross stuff. I literally was like, I was doing a bit, and then he didn't. His face didn't. No, I, I honestly, I, I'm <laughs> thinking about the question. I don't, I don't really drink. I don't really puke a lot when I'm drunk. I don't really puke a lot when I'm hungover. Um, so I don't have a lot of great. I mean, yeah, I puke a lot when I eat gross shit, but um, it is, it is not when it comes to alcohol consumption. I don't. I, don't I do also, all that much puking. Like, I usually, if I'm puking, I'm usually like at home. It's rare that I'm like somewhere where. Well, I'm you not. also sneeze. What the fuck does that? What's like, that? Have to do with when you're puking, you oh, sneeze. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You well, have a very bizarre. Puke. That's only new in life, and I thank God because I I don't puke much anymore. Um, but yeah, something's going on where like my body is just my nose is like we got to sneeze and get it out, and it is a Dude, fiasco. We were in Nashville, and I heard you. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" That was like, that, like I can't have that. I, it's I like a, it's like thunder me. snow. <laughs> Yeah, it's like two worlds colliding. That is. I didn't even know that was a, a thing. A problem, what are you talking about? Because you're like, and things are like exploding, yeah, you know? Yeah. Oh, you, by the time you're done, there's 
puke on the fucking ceiling. <laughs> uh, I, I like to be like, you know, in the comfort of my own home, can like hug the bowl and like roll into the tub if I need to, you know? <laughs> Puking like out, out there in the world is... I, I, I love well, a good like uh, off a balcony puke like I was, I was like, gonna like say, some yeah. distance like, to it at a bar like but like like, like say you like took that, like that extra tequila shot or whatever oh. and you go out to like the tiki porch or whatever and you just kind of like quickly like, okay okay that mm. so that would be my answer is the like one shot too many yeah uh that I've, that's a good I've puke. sniped or like secretly done that before where people two feet away from me didn't notice really? oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's the best because it wasn't it's not the violent like it's just it's like you a, puke into your mouth you almost and like you spit it out, it out. Yeah. right it's, yeah oh no it just came all at once oh, it was, wow. yeah because i've done the like <laughs> I mean, jackie was jackie was like uh I, this is this is a deep cut reference here but i don't know if you remember in street fighter the movie when oh my god no i, I got, forget the answer to that is Hold no on. street fighter the movie comes up here Way too I, often. Once every three months. <laughs> yeah. The, the Blanca forget, reference, we drop a lot. I forget yeah. the sumo wrestler type guy. E he, Honda. E Honda. Are you e -Honda comparing beat, me to that right huh? now? Are you comparing <laughs> me to this yes. right yeah. now? Yeah. And it'll make sense. It'll make sense. <laughs> um, and it so is, he's sweating. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's getting tortured. And, and he's not. Like, he's getting whipped and all this shit. And, and he's not saying anything. And E Honda is yeah, okay. and and when the the torturers leave and whoever he's in jail with is like, how do you take that? And he goes, I just make sure my mind goes somewhere else. And the guy says, Well, next time your mind leaves, can you break tell it to bring back a pizza? And that was how Jackie looked. It was just like she was so repulsed by everything we're saying, <laughs> and it was just like clearly her mind was elsewhere, <laughs> and she was just like, I'm just trying to just not focus on where I am right now. And what I'm doing. <laughs> she has that face a lot. <laughs> I'd call that Jackie's face. <laughs> um, I, I remember one time doing a, a shot and uh, ran to the bathroom. It was crowded. So, like, I was like, I need to make it to the bathroom. It was very close, but it was very crowded. So, I'm weaving in and out. And I get to the door and I open it up. It was one of those one, like, single toilet bathrooms. So, I open it up. And I just barely made it, so I end up just kind of puking on to, like, the toilet and the wall. Not in it. It was just like, imagine you just threw up at a toilet, you know? Yeah. So it went, like, splat, yeah. you know? <laughs> and I cleaned it up, like, as most as I could, you know? Um, yeah, but You didn't have a mop on you, but you did, right, you did right. with toilet paper. But then, like, right after that, my buddy puked on top of it, too. He did another shot, and he ran in there and kind of puked, and he was like, did you... Did you puke on that toilet? Because when I went in there, it was like pretty much covered in puke, and I was like, "Yeah," but I cleaned it up. He's like, "Well, I puked on top of that puke." <laughs> but I mean, I did, so but it just got me thinking about like, um, like college bars and yeah. toilets. And Bro, I, and stuff. you know like, where I was? The the people night? who like fucking college bars and stuff. You gotta oh, realize, I like, saw where you were. <laughs> the, the social club. Yeah, yeah. Bro, they, one of the urinals just full of puke. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I Bro, mean, I, I I've told this before where you talk about fucking college bars. Brother, I fucked in a Preakness porta potty. Yeah, that is the most that disgusting thing that's ever happened. Yeah, literally the, wor the the most disgusting place on earth is a Preakness. <laughs> back when it was, back when it was, uh, yo, yo, it you, was, the your yeah. boy dance is awesome. By the way, I don't know where this came from, but I'm uh, loving it. I don't know. Is, this is the that from a show or something? You're just doing it. I just did the first I, time. I, I, the first one was way better than the second one. Huge, I no, huge cosine. <laughs> Love it. Please keep doing it. Absolutely. Um, but the uh, just, but just the, the things in the air of that. Porta potty, let alone yeah. touching any of the surfaces. Dude, was she? Was she you had her foot up on the toilet, bro? Barefoot? No, no, no. She had like okay. sandals on or whatever. Still. But... So she was doing like one of the, you were yeah. fucking her from behind. Mm. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> you, wear, you didn't wear a condom, right? <laughs> that, that's dude, dude. I would, I would wear, I would wear a condom fucking in a porta potty, not for the pussy, for the air. <laughs> I'd be like, I just need to protect my my dick from this disgustingness. <laughs> I'm actually like, I'm gonna keep the dick in. Cause that's where it's safe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your your the, weird uh, slutty coochie is probably cleaner than the air <laughs> inside this porta potty. Dude, the, the, the uh, outside of the Prius is just as gross as inside a porta potty, though. Everyone's <laughs> got thirty racks that they're just fucking kneeling down and pissing Can't through. Oh, <laughs> God. What a despicable place that was. Yeah, I, used, Honestly, I went there a lot, they bro. Shut I it felt down home and, there. Like, they probably should have, you know. Yeah. That's one thing where it's like, all right, humanity had your fun. We're not doing it anymore. You know, you it was like I yeah. went. I went fairly recently. Like me and Gaz went. Probably this is probably like seven years ago. I say fairly recently, but yeah. What do you mean they shut it down? 
It's not like it, it used it, to be, it, bro. It used to be. Oh, it they have like they have be. reopened it. Too. It's it's like the four loco now. Yeah. And, and then it's not. It, it used to be like you could bring in as many beers as you wanted. And, and nobody and does then, the, the porta potty runs anymore. No, I don't see those. That's, that's, like, I was gonna say my, in the head my brother died. went like four years ago and they were doing that and like yeah I got videos of people getting the videos are one of my favorite the the crowd reaction going like. Oh, when yeah. someone gets hit with like an unopened beer, it's just like a sniper to the head. It's disgusting. We just dropped a ton of new merch over at the Barstool store just in time for the holidays. You got Sad Boy Season, Season 3. This motherfucker, all he does is just doodle, and he has a whole new line of fashion. It's fucking annoying is what it is. He was just like, "How? what do you think about an outer order sign? Do you think this is good? Version 1. Yes. Done. <laughs> Fuck you. I said you're like, you're like uh, Don Draper mixed with... Uh, Daniel Ogilvy, David Ogilvy. Who's that? He's like Ogilvy is like the number one marketing fucking firm in the okay. world. Uh, and then mixed with McConaughey and Kate Hudson from How to, <laughs> How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. You would have been the guy going, "Frost yourself, yeah, <laughs> fucking idiot, you jerk off." Uh, we got a ton of new Moon Man stuff, KFC Radio stuff, uh, all of it. I, genuinely, I think is our best like offering ever. I, I agree. With we that. have I real clothes. We have novelty, fun clothes. The, the ugly sweater. We've got cozy things, stylish things, all of it in between. It's our best offering ever. Uh, under the KFC Radio section of the Barstool Store, make sure you get it. Uh, it's a great. <coughs> it's a great gift if you have like nephews and brothers. You, know, you can get it for girls too, but for the guys, it's so easy to just be like, bam, here's a Barstool item. They're gonna love it. Go to store.barstoolsports.com. Make sure you subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be fast. That's it.